Hello. Hi, everyone. Whoa. Just slipped in my chair. Hey, the chat's working. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. Hi on Twitch as well. Remember last time when I said, Twitch isn't coming back. Hey, I accidentally paid for another month. So hi, if you're watching this on Twitch at some point. Hopefully I'm coming through okay. Because, yeah, there's there's probably going to be a lot of chat and stuff. It seems kind of dark. One of the lights isn't working. I'm going to men. I'm going to men. Have I got a beer? Oh, does my be right back screen work? I will be right back. Okay, we might have to do it a bit darker. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Now it seems too bright. I've been thinking, like, why? It, it was brighter earlier. What's happened? One of the lights just uh, turned off. You get, you get fancy lights that you don't have to get up and switch on, and then they don't work. Well, they've, they've worked for a long time. Uh, so, hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me. We are going to revisit, although kind of, kind of rediscover Weather Machine. I did a video for this back, well, I filmed it, I say it at some point in the video, on Bonfire Nights. I think like, was when, when would that have been? 2021? It's been a bit. It's been a year and a, a quarter maybe? Since I had a prototype, it had to be sent along. A lot of people needed to fix the weather. But the final version is here. It probably looks quite similar if you compare this to the old video because, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good pre-production copy, I think, rather than an out-and-out -out prototype. But the final version is here in all of its beauty and glory and we are going to get back to it, fixing the weather, and hopefully do well at the solo because you can see already on the channel, that I, th I don't think anything rules-wise has changed. Not from my glance through the Board Game Geek forums anyway, like big rules changes. But you can see I did a two-player playthrough against Little Glass Marty with the big prototype. And then after the prototype had gone, solo rules were available. And I didn't have the components and things in the prototype. So there is a tabletop simulator, me kind of playing the solo for the first time and learning it. So <laughs> there has been some uh, frantic relearning and... I'd say abysmal attempts at trying to beat the, the saboteurs, the bot opponents in this game. But uh, we're going to give it a go. It's all going to work here, isn't it? The chat on the screen seems to be kind of working. The chat box is, the chat box is working again. Uh, the thing wasn't on. For some, it, it turned itself off. It was, ironically, it was on on Twitch, but not on uh, YouTube. It switched itself, because I don't think it's ever worked on Twitch. There's not that many commands. There is like exclamation mark Patreon and things like that. Oh, the chat the chat above me isn't working properly still though, is it? It's kind of, it is every now and then. It takes a while and then suddenly about 10 messages fly past. But hey, there's, there's some kind of record of the chat for future generations above me. And because of kind of the way this game is laid out, there's a lot of empty space. I have to zoom out far enough to fit this player board in. And uh, yeah, there's, there's tons of empty space, so I thought, well, we'll make some space for the chat again. And because I, I watched that old video and there was, uh, there was a nice little chat bar over there. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen Wayne. Hey, James. Steve. Are your name's in the rule book. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone, for finding me alive as well. Jeffy, Norman, Skycroft, Ian, Paul, Thomas. <laughs> For better than uh, you are. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like I've, I've got an idea. I don't know that it's going to go anywhere. But yeah, once this has been kind of set up and I've been just looking around just on forums and stuff while I've been like sitting here ready with it just to see like, oh, is there, is there anything that I need to kind of like know that's changed or something to be aware of? And one thing that I am going to do, so there are some components missing from the screen, like the solo board and the solo decision board and the solo deck and stuff. That is because I've dropped it all, but also because 
in my travels, and this is like a, a bit of a last minute thing, in my travels through the internet, hopefully this is going to work, if I press this button, hey, look at this. It takes us to a different area of the screen, which I'm not happy with. But hey, the, all that needs to happen is the browser. Let's look at the credits to remind me who made it. Stefan Seifert, Seifert has come up with a solo helper for Weather Machine. You can play it completely without that. You don't need any kind of electronics if you don't need them. But if, in case you're wondering, there are a lot of electronic, electronics around me already to be doing this. I could, I'd, streaming anyway is a, is a very electronic experience, board game wise for me. It basically pairs down all of those symbols and decisions and all of that kind of stuff into just a step by step. Like, hey, do this. You can still see the next thing that the saboteurs are going to do, but it's not like... It's, yeah, perfectly doable, but I find it a little bit hard, probably because I don't tend to kind of again and again play... I don't have the time, and I have to move on to other games more than anything. But especially when there's a solo with a load of um, steps and things that I don't want to miss out on, I was going to have, you know, the the booklet open up with me to kind of make sure I go through all of those steps but we're going to give this uh, solo helper a go because I love things like this that just means that hey, I don't have to zoom in on another thing and a load of symbols and stuff but also it will hopefully remind me of all the things that I need to do and you, you, you tell it things it keeps track of some of the research tokens that the bots have got for you you have to tell it some things like when citations get unlocked and things like that but yeah it's going to handle some of the solo stuff for us i think i hope yeah my voice is, i think my voice is pretty much back now it's for some reason it's still lingering it's been ages like this it's really really frustrating i, have to, I just have to remember though keep drinking don't sit here for three hours basically not drinking again i was ill already when i did that scholar stream like it didn't cause that we've done longer streams and uh, yeah, I can't remember when I've ever lost my voice before, but it's, it's pretty much back. You might still hear it uh, scratching about the weather at the moment. Well, it's it's uh, it's England, so uh, dull and rainy, but um, it's about to get a lot worse once we work out all of this stuff. Oh, the Marty command. I don't, I, I've just turned the bot on and I haven't checked what the commands were. <laughs> it's a surprise to me what the, bot, the bot's become self-aware and making his own things up. Oh, the game was taught to you by Vital himself. Was it tougher that way? Because I think, I don't know if I've ever, I've ever been taught a game entirely by him the first time. But he's very good at disc, like kind of walking you through his own games. Because to him, they are so straightforward and easy. And they kind of are once, like a certain thing has to click about how everything links together. And then actually it is a lot simpler than it was seeming. Like, kind of, coming back to this, it's, it's, it's always kind of intimidating that I think, oh, I've forgotten all of this stuff. Thanks about the funding things. I was thinking that as I, as I was um, staring at the board just before we started. Like, do they actually need those? Do they actually need... Was there a bit in the rubric where they ever got the funding tracks? But there isn't, is there? Um, yeah, so, like, it's always intimidating going back to these things. But it's not really... Yeah, on Mars is always my benchmark of, I get it at certain points. I think the expansion made it a bit more gettable for me, but also, uh, yeah, everything else kind of pales in comparison to trying to make sense of that. I did manage it at various points, but yeah, going back, I would have to start from the beginning again. Whereas something else, kind of like... This kind of happens every time I do a Beatle Lacerda game. But I'm playing all of this and enjoying it and stuff, but in the back of my mind is like, I'd really like to play the Gallerist. <laughs> I know there's like, I like Kanban more than the Gallerist multiplayer, but there's just something about the Gallerist that I just love. <laughs> Steve Boccolini is self-aware. Oh yeah, before I keep going on, thanks Steve. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, you can do it at Patreon and Kofi. There are links in the chat, in the description, at various points. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And it's how I can do any of this. So yeah, Weather Machine has got a bit of a... I think it did have back in the Kickstarter as well. 
even when people just had prototypes or were watching playthroughs, maybe playing it a bit on um, Tabletop Simulator. It seems a bit more kind of divisive in terms of how complex it is and how hard it is to learn. And that's always going to depend on like your style, isn't it? That like Rach would still say that Kanban is the easiest one to learn and the only one she's really enjoyed learning. Other ones like Gallerist, much harder for her. Things like On Mars and Weather Machine, just kind of like, no, this isn't going to be my thing. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. But uh, yeah, the, and but for me, I think the Gallerist has always stood out as like the easiest one to, to get to grips with. I think Weather Machine, maybe a bit more than that. I would, I would put it kind of lower down though. Not, not so much as Escape Plan and the Gallerist, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't put it up as really complex with On Mars. But this is kind of the only one that's a kind of, I don't know about hypothetical, a fantastical, a fictional setting rather than a real world, world thing that there's a good chance you don't know anything about the production line of how cars get made, but here is a real world anchor that can help you understand all of these mechanisms and things. And, uh, you know, pollution and winemaking, these are all things that exist and have processes. Whereas a crazy chitty chitty bang bang professor making the weather go wrong. Okay, well, we'll go with you on that journey. And you just got to stay on that uh, kind of fantastical journey a little bit. It does all make sense in its own universe. But yeah, the, a weather machine has been created, basically. Dr. Latif and we are his his colleagues, basically. His, um, his students that have made this weather machine we are trying to fix the weather to make people's holidays better, make sporting events uh, not get cancelled because of rain and stuff. But in the process of trying to improve the weather, which we have done, we make the weather worse somewhere else in the world. There's a balance to all of these things and we are kind of ruining the world in doing it to the point where the government has stepped in. So all of these tiles here represent extreme weather that we have made happen by trying to make it nicer elsewhere. The weather will get worse over the course of the game. The government has had to step in and use its funding. Since we are the only people that know how this machine works, we have to fix it. But the government has stepped in. They are going to give us funding, do subsidies and things to try and help us solve the weather. So there are kind of three big sections of the board. And there's a supply one. There's four actions, basically. But yeah, the government's going to help us fix things. Research and development is where we're going to make breakthroughs and try and fix this extreme weather. And Dr. Latif's lab is where we're going to perform experiments to try and fix the weather. But it will always make the weather worse, just because that's how it works. So that's basically it. On your turn, it's worker placements. You have to put your worker in a new department. There are four different departments. Different action spaces will give you different amounts of things, might give you vouchers and stuff that are the, the main way we get action points in this. Dr. Latif will bounce around. He's not evaluated as in stuff like uh, Sandra in Kanban, but he is going to keep an eye on us, try and help us out, give us things maybe that will help us with our experiments. For Solo, we have the Saboteurs, a rival scientific company is trying to make the it's trying to make us look bad basically it's trying to make the weather so horrible that they get the government contract instead i think is the theme behind it so they are also going to make moves across this they get to play by their own rules of course they don't do the actions exactly like us but they they will through their machinations make the weather worse there are ways we can instantly win this. I should get up as well. Another great thing, if you are learning or relearning uh, Weather Machine, Nathan Morse on Board Game Geek has made a, a holistic summary that's great when you're just kind of like, I, I did, I, I knew how Weather Machine played so much, uh, but I've forgotten. Hey, it, uh, it gets you right back in there, just bullet pointed list of how all of the things worked. And there is a nice player aid, as with all of the deluxe editions of a lovely little menu of how all of your action steps and symbols and things work. In the solo game, we can instantly win this game if our points, 
So that's my purple points marker over there. If our points are bigger than the target score, so the, the bot's score marker there isn't their score, it's our target score. If we get more points than that, and, not as simple as that yet, we have to fulfill four or more goal tiles that are on our lab. So we've got to get them on the lab and fulfill them. And we have got to be on space five or further on two of these funding tracks. If all of those three things happen, we win immediately. I wouldn't say I've played with a machine solo very many times. That has never come even close to happening for me. I'm not saying it can't. I'm saying I'm, I'm rubbish, basically. Brace yourselves. For, hopefully I'll get the game right, but the strategy may be in question. So if we do all of those things, we instantly win. If at certain points in the game when it's evaluated, there are two like level three extreme weathers. So at the moment, these are all level one. They can be reduced down to level zero. I doubt that'll happen, but they will get worse. So if two weathers get up to level three at certain points of the game, I think it's at the start of the bot's turn, we lose. So we don't want to let that happen. It's an insta loss, like in Kanban, if you get fired, basically, uh, at various bits. Oh, thanks, Jen. I don't know why uh, Twitch hadn't cottoned on to what I'm actually playing. I need my keyboard for this. I'll just uh, fix the tile. Weather machine. There we go. So, yeah. Great things. Oh, yeah, so that's how we instantly lose. We can also take the game to its normal conclusion, which is how it would go multiplayer as well. If I can win the Nobel Prize, which, to be honest, is about time. If R&D is full of bots, or the government is full of bots. Right? Are they the, are they the three triggers for it? Where's my other bits? I think they are the, the three triggers for the end of the game. And then we play one more round, and then we have scoring. But if we take it to normal scoring, the target score jumps 30 points, because we get points and stuff in uh, final scoring. So, yeah. I don't know if we will outright win things like this, but nah, we'll get... We'll give it a go, right? I've got a couple of ideas for what I might do in the first couple of turns. I'm sure the bots will get in the way and stop me from doing those plans. Oh, and by the way, like I don't know if these are Kickstarter exclusive things and stuff, but yeah, the, the Nobel Prize, there is a lovely wooden one, but this is a nice like metal one with some uh, with Vital and Eno Tools little signatures engraved in it. And what's another extra thing? The gears. So lovely cardboard gears that you can see in my original playthrough. The, there was a little extra bag of metal gears that uh, you can see on here. And they don't stack, so you're not seeing them in lovely neat piles next to my board. But they do kind of spin, which is nice, isn't it? So yeah, they are machine parts that we will use at various points in our experiments. And yes, there are. Liz, you're right. I don't know if you can see them in my screen still. Because this is, this is kind of as far as I can zoom in without uh, losing quality. You can probably see clearer pictures on Board Game Geek. But yeah, see if you can spot the the Easter eggs that are hiding in these. The spaces without symbols on that have just got these tables. You might recognise some of the things that are on those uh, tables. Oh, the solo mode isn't in the basic retail version either. That's an expert. Oh yeah, the, the solo mode... Like, there were these, like, cards and tokens and things. I couldn't figure out what they were for and where the rules were for them. They're at the end of the solo book. What, these little expansions for the multiplayer game? There's some gold tiles. You can... So the first thing that's going to happen, once I've... I've been rambling for ages, haven't I? I've, I've been telling you about the game. Uh, so the first thing that's going to happen in a minute is kind of a an initial supply phase. So it's not the first turn, but we will get to do a supply act, which is an action of the game. We get to do that at the beginning where you kind of have a number of points that you can spend how you like, which, if you're learning the game especially, might be a bit of a hurdle. But there are cards in that expansion that you can just deal out to people, and you start with this, rather than having to worry about what do I end all of my points from. That's strange, I didn't know that. But there are no exclusive items that can all be 
bought separately. Oh, the Nobel Prize is $5. It is a lovely, weighty metal thing. Yeah, how much is the solo stuff? Because I usually... I don't know, actually. Was Kanban's separate? I'm not sure, because there was a separate thing for Kanban, but I don't, I don't know if it had the solo stuff in it. It was all included if you backed it on Kickstarter. Right. Shall I go, then? So, the first thing that we do... And this is a choice you can make later on in the game. You can come here as an action. Is an, an initial supply phase. Hopefully if I press my supply button, it should take us down here. So when you take actions in this game, depending on the department that you go to, you're going to be spending vouchers. We start out with these vouchers. So we've got supply, government, lab, R&D, and science vouchers. Science vouchers are wild. They're crazy. They can be used for anything. And there are some kind of executive exchanges that you can do. Hey, I'm learning from the Klingon subtitles and watching me all play through that um, you can spend any three vouchers to get a science voucher if you need one. Sometimes you specifically need a science voucher. You can also exchange machine parts for a different color with uh, any two vouchers. You can exchange chemicals for a different color with two uh, vouchers as well. So for the supply phase, we need supply vouchers. We can also use science vouchers if we really want to. And you can change the turn order of the game. I'm first, so there would be no need for me to do that. But I could do that with a supply voucher point. You can spend vouchers on getting robots. They're going to help us do all sorts of things. They're amazing. We do need space for them. But yeah, they cost an ever-increasing number of supply vouchers, depending on the section we take them from. Ignore these bottom two sections for now. We need more bits of wood on our player boards before we're allowed those ones. But yeah, they'll cost one or two to get a robot. You need spaces for them. We do start out. Our initial lab here has got space for a single chemical. They're these cylinders here. You can see they, they fit very nicely into that one space. You can fit a machine part in this space. And you can fit a robot in this space. Warehouse tiles, which we do start with a random one. I started out with a random machine part as well. That can hold a robot or a machine part. And when we get more of them, we can link them up like this. And once you make a pair of the same color, hey, that can hold a blue chemical now. But we haven't got that yet. Another thing we can do in the supply phase is spend a voucher to get one of these available warehouse tiles. You can pick from the four in the display, the one on top of the stack. You can also exchange chemicals. So you can sell chemicals to gain supply points. You put the chemical in the right most empty space. At the start of the game, the only chemicals that are out there are the two that the saboteurs have been given in their solo setup. So I'm not going to be selling any right now, but later on, if you've got a green one and they're all sold out, you could sell one green one back to the supply for three vouchers. And then you could buy another one for really cheap and maybe it's the one that you need. You can always exchange them, of course, with those exchanges. But yeah, that's what we can do. We can change the turn order, get robots, get warehouse tiles, buy and sell chemicals. So with my vouchers now, this is where someone mentioned it as well. I think Michael... It's talking about the, the planning that's involved. One thing about Weather Machine is it probably needs more planning than any other Vita Lacerda game. Not that there's no planning involved in the others. There can be plenty. But yeah, there's kind of working two, three turns ahead of what you want to do in terms of the weather you're trying to fix, how you're going to get the things to do it. And yeah, there's a thing I mentioned in my playthrough that Paul Grogan in his Gaming Rules playthrough, which you can also see, uh, back from the original, described it as working backwards. The thing we need to do in this game, there are ways of getting points all over the place, but the big thing we need to do is fix the weather. We do that by making breakthroughs. How do we make breakthroughs? We have to have published research papers. How do we do that? We need these matching books for that type of weather. You get that from doing various actions in the individual departments and from being present in experiments with that type of weather when it happens. There's a bit more going on than that. There always is and everything all interlinks and goes in a great big circle. So I'm kind of thinking I want to get down into R&D in the first round 
government's my favorite bit in the game and I want to do that second. I want to be prepared for that because we can't go in the leftmost space in the first round. That's when you get a big, you can do a double. You can do both of the actions that are in a department rather than picking. It does look like, hey, there's so much going on in this board, but it is four distinct sections. So there's a supply bit at the bottom. All of this is just like a, a round overview and an end game scoring overview. There's the supply bit here, the government bit here, the lab bit here, and the R&D bit here. They're all kind of specific to the section that you're in. And each section, there's a million symbols here. Actually, they're just two different actions that you can do when you go to that place. So I'm thinking of going here first. And based on what the saboteurs have started with, the cards have determined where they are going and the tiles that they have started off with. They've started off with some research in fog and wind, hurricanes and stuff. So not necessarily. They might get other things. They might do other things and get in my way. But I feel like they're going to be weathers to fix. They're going to be the things I want to be scared about. So I want to get the research books of them to fix them as well. I maybe want the government to be ready to step in and fix that type of weather. All of this is kind of playing into which chemicals do you want to start with? Because you want to try and start with the right ones and not have to waste extra vouchers in uh, changing your mind. I think I would like... So the way you get these books is participating in an experiment. This assistant is going to kind of rotate around. There isn't going to be a fog one for ages. Wind is sooner. So let's look in the wind column. I would like a free robot. I want green. I'm going to start with a green chemical. That's going to be one voucher. It's also going to cost me my gear, but hopefully we're going to get a gear back. That's going to be okay. I would like some more warehouse space. I'm going to need a robot to put down there as well. So we want to buy a robot. When you buy a robot, it can come from these spaces for one voucher, these spaces for two vouchers. They'll move you up on various supply voucher tracks. I think... I do want to go to all of the places eventually. I only want... I think I'm going to get the government vouchers I need in a minute when I do an action. So I don't think I want this robot yet. Vouchers in the other places is kind of up in the air. The lab. I'm going to go for the lab. Not 100% sure. It feels good. So you get it immediately when you get the robot. So you can pop that voucher up. I've got another lab voucher. Also, whenever we get income, which is when Professor Latif has completed his first lap of the board, he moves when somebody goes into a space that he's in. He moves to the next place along. He does stuff as well. But generally, he moves to the next space when someone goes to his action spot. And when he ends up back in his office here, we all get income. We're not uh, going to get that for a while, though. So I've spent a voucher on getting a chemical. I have spent a voucher on getting a robot. I want more storage space for things. I've only got a couple of... I want robots to be about... Yeah, let's also go up on here. So that gives me a R and D research point. I want a lab space. I don't particularly care about matching up colours yet. I want another one in a row because we'll get into it in more detail. But when we make breakthroughs that will fix the weather, you need all of the cogs of one colour. And as the weather gets worse, cogs are going to start appearing on there as well. You want all of the gears of one colour. Bots can make it a bit easier. But you need all of those gears in one row of your warehouse. So, yeah, you've got to keep that in mind as well. There's goals to keep in mind. There's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to drop the ball on some of the bits. Okay, so that's going to cost my last supply point then, isn't it? So I've had two robots. 
I've had a chemical. And I've had a warehouse piece. I've got science points still. So I can have more. I haven't got another storage space for chemicals right now, though. I've got a space that I could fit a robot or a machine port in. Should we get another robot? I think it would be a waste in terms of this voucher. I don't want to come back to the supply point, though, really. What if we spent both of the science points to get this robot out that gives me a science point back? So effectively, it's only cost me one. Yeah, I don't want to have to keep coming back and doing this supply action because it's vital, but God, I don't want to spend a whole turn just buying things again. We want to fix the weather and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the bots do get in your way. The Yeah, if you can see the bots, here are the bots. There is a, a white one and a pink one. They're lined down so, to try and make them a bit more visible. But yeah, two cards at the start of the game decide where they go and which weather research they're going to start with. So I'm going to do the first thing. Oh yeah, there's an app. If you didn't see me earlier, there's an unofficial app that you, if you just Google Weather Machine Solo Helper, Stefan has come up with what I hope. It looks to be a pretty amazing kind of step-by-step -step thing. Like, I know you don't need it, and you can play analog, and it's all wonderful and stuff, but in terms of kind of mental load and me remembering the steps, I know there's lovely player aids with all of the symbols and stuff, and that it will sink in after several games. But in terms of, uh, especially when you're, you're streaming it and you're trying to remember the base game stuff as well, hopefully that's going to make this uh, way smoother. So that's my initial supply round. I've got a science voucher left. I don't know if that means I'm being wasteful. I'll probably regret that and wish I had another thing somewhere. I'm going to spend it. I'll probably regret that. I'm going to get another one back from somewhere. I'm going to get another warehouse tile. I, I can have a green chemical now at some point. I haven't got enough money to buy the green chemical. But hopefully that's going to be okay. I don't want to waste anything. My first action, it's got to be in a different department, so we can't do supply. And I've just done supply, so you wouldn't want to do it. I think I'm going to come over to R&D. So there are three action spaces in the game. In a two-player game, you do actually block off this rightmost one. They will do different things. The main thing is, in the first round, I'm not allowed to choose the leftmost one. That's the one you want, really. So the leftmost one is where you can choose to do either of these actions or both of them if you want to. Can't do that at the start. These two are both just either or. So I'm going to go in this spot here. Now when you place, you're going to get some vouchers of a different department. So this is going to give me a government voucher. And hopefully if my camera angles work, hey, there's my player board so you can kind of see it. Uh, so I will get a government voucher for doing that. But you will also get some extra vouchers for everyone to the left of you that is already on that action space. So I'll get another government voucher for that. If Professor Latif was already on that space, you would get a science voucher. And as an extra kind of this is kind of a variant now, I don't know if it was originally. For two players anyway, which we are kind of emulating, he also counts as another player that's on that space in terms of you getting extra vouchers and stuff. He isn't there right now. Just talking hypothetically. As it is, I get one for going on the space, and one because there's someone to the left of me. So that's why I didn't want to take the robot that gave me government vouchers, because I already planned to come here and fill up. They're just wasted if you go beyond the maximum, and you can only have three government vouchers, and hopefully I'm going to get to spend them next time. So out here at R&D, we can make breakthroughs. To do a breakthrough, you have to have a published paper. That is a row on your warehouse full of wooden books, and you've done the action to publish the paper and this... Uh, 
is over here. I haven't done that, basically. Can't do that at all. I can do this one, though. And this is where... What's the action called, to give it its name? I'm never in a million years going to remember the names of the actual chemicals and stuff, but I'll tell you the names of the actions. So this is just uh, this is just place a... It's, it's do research. It, it's research. It costs you. All of the actions will cost you. So breakthrough two R&D vouchers. This one, one R&D voucher. So I can tick myself down on that, no problem. And then you just go through the steps one by one. First of all, you go up on the funding track, which I realize my zooming in does cut out a little bit there. So you go up the funding track. Later on, we will get through things called investment markers, we will get to take these goals that we've started with and put them on our player boards for initial bonuses. They've got a goal on there that we can get points for doing at the end of the game. Once they are on there, we can spend investment markers in the future to flip them over and reap the rewards of our funding tracks. They work in different ways, but the R&D one will basically give you what you've gotten furthest to. So right now, I could get the benefit of my funding track. Well, not right now, but if I was able to, I would get one machine part. Later on, I could get points. You're allowed to take a lesser benefit because you might have moved all the way up. Hey, I can have seven points as my income, but what I really wanted was a machine part. So I'll take five points in a machine part or two machine parts, something like that. You also get points just for moving along at the end of the game as well. So it's good to do. So we get some funding. Next, I need to place one of my robots permanently in this section. It is going to make it easier to perform breakthroughs. I need to spend the relevant chemical, and you can see on the left-hand side here, there is a chemical cost for placing your robot there. On the bottom row, which I think is where I want to place, there is an additional cost of either another chemical or another machine part. Well, a machine part rather than another one. There is also a benefit in the middle that you will get for having placed your robot there. It's another robot. So, you know, I have got a limited supply of them, but I am going to take... Am I going to have space? Yeah, I've got space. I bought another warehouse tile. So I am going to take from... Oh, you can see my playable, can't you? I'm going to take a robot, pop him on here. This is why I wanted to start with a green chemical. So I've paid that green chemical. I'm also going to pay a machine part. So that just goes back to the supply for now. My robot and that chemical are there forever. They are just gone now. My benefit is get a robot, and I'm a bit limited into what I can choose in terms of robots, because these sections here, you can't take from until you have got six robots already, or five things in this section. They can be the appropriately different colored bits of research that you can see the bots have got already. They can be citations. They can be awards. Book-shaped bits of wood in these spaces. If you've got five or more of them, you can start to take bots from this space. If you have got nine bots already, or eight bits of wood or more in this bit, then you can start taking from this section. They are more and more expensive. The benefits get better and better though. And who doesn't want to have a load of robots? For the moment though, we are miles away from that. We've got to look at these top bits. It would be an absolute waste getting a government voucher that I can't store. And we're getting a free robot. Why would I not want one that usually costs more money? I've just spent my only machine part. So this is, this is the end of my initial plan now. So we just... Uh, Skating on nothing afterwards. I want to get this robot that gives me a machine part. Because now I've got no machine part. So I was vaguely thinking... As we'll see in a minute, the government department wants you to have gears as well. I think green was a, a, a decent gear to have. Because I'm kind of making the government... Hopefully making the government ready to step in on wind and I want to build up these symbols so yeah I think as my benefit I'm going to choose to just have a green one back that can go in there so that was step two on test put your bot down pay the relevant chemical oh that, that was step three was pay the chemical step four was get the benefit oh we have done loads of steps finally step five this is where you get the research book 
of that type of weather. So you can see like the types of weather are above. That is one branch of the department we're going to. We can have that research book. So what do we do with the research books? They go into this column of your player board. You can only have a type of weather on one row. So once you've decided that's where it's staying, there are benefits that you can get by popping stuff down, like immediately moving up funding tracks, getting supply vouchers, but also there are benefits that you can get when you publish research. This is when we've got usually three books, a full complement of books up here, and we take an action in the lab to publish our research. We will get the benefit. This lovely breakthrough token slides over. So get in points of any kind, a chemical of any kind, any two funding steps, a robot, a lab action for free, a particular lab action, two machine parts. What do I want? I don't know. Robots. It doesn't get me anything initially. I'm feeling robots for some reason. I want a load of books. All my goals that have come out, they want you to have loads and loads of books out. But also, have three... robots in R&D. So I'd like to have a few out there. I would like to have robots to be able to do that. Does that mean I can't have more than three? I've got to have exactly three. So yeah, something that gets me more robots. I'm fine with that. And if I want subsidy tiles, they're going to need me to spend robots as well. I'm going to go in the robots thing. So no benefit initially. That's just an empty spot. But later on, we will hopefully get a lovely benefit from that. Because I went on the space that gets me just one action, that's it. That is my first round. I'd like to say that that was quick, but hey, we've got to describe a load of things, haven't we, initially? I love the, the, the stuff you get from the government section. It's my favourite bit. It's just, it's just benefits, isn't it? There's, there's so much stuff. But yeah, like Shelley's saying, I don't normally do this. I kind of thought, like, if I wait to go to the government, I can maybe do both bits if the bot doesn't get in the way. So, we can I used to have three in the same branch. Thanks, Shelley. I, sh I should look up the, <laughs> the full definition of me tiles, shouldn't I, before I start. I've been looking up a load of things. Right, so here is where the app steps in. And it is already telling me things. You know, here is the four steps of your turn. They are on your player board. But, uh, yeah, just to remind it, if you've moved Latif, then you can tell the app that. If you've unlocked any bits of research, you can tell it that as well. If you were playing without the app, then there would be a card face up telling you where they're going to go next because there is an extra free action we can do called security. This is where we can spend vouchers to make them change their mind what they're going to do. We draw, I think it's two more cards from the top of the bot deck and we decide which card is going to be on top now, what they're going to do. One card goes back on top of the deck, one card gets discarded. That's another trigger for the end of the game that I haven't mentioned before. We lose if the bot runs out of cards. That's why it's telling us they've got 17 cards left. And you can see it's keeping a nice track of the research tokens that they've got as well. So that was all for my turn. The saboteur's turn is basically, it's resolving the card that would be on top now. So they want to go to this particular action space. Their priority for action spaces, that's why it says here, it says it on the cards as well, is A, C, B. They want to go to the leftmost space more than anything because that gets them more things, like it would a normal player as well. Then they want to go to the right because they don't want to stand in the middle so you can stand to the right of them and get extra vouchers like I just did. Uh, if they can't go on the right, they will go in the middle. If they can't go in the middle, because me and the other saboteur and um, Professor Latif is already there, I can only think of Vital there, couldn't uh, reverse it in my head, then they will go to the next action. That's why it's also showing as next action, because we, we need to tell the app where are they going. So this is the pink saboteur, as it said on the card, and the app. And they are going to go over to the... Are oh, they already at R&D, though? So do they have to move? Are they going to get in my way? That space is available, but they have to go to a new one. 
already? You're not step by stepping me already. <gasps> oh no. Should I have changed this card? It just says place them in that place. Oh, because they're already at that location. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna go to the government. Now I don't want to waste vouchers to make them change their mind. I don't want to go to I don't want to spend vouchers to make them change their mind. And I don't want them to discard cards this early. From what I've read, rather than my experience of what I've done in games. The opposite of what I do. Try and dissuade them from going to the lab, because that's where they will do the most damage. They do damage whatever they do. It basically means that when it's my turn, they're going to be in that spot and I'm not going to get to do both government things. I'll still get to go there and do some stuff. This needs, probably needs filling up, does it? Does that happen at the end of a round? I think it happens at the end of a round. I know that happens with uh, tiles and stuff. It probably needs refilling. So I can, if I want to spend vouchers of other types, which I don't want to, then I can call security. Pay a voucher of the type matching the location where you are, or a science voucher. So draw two cards from... So... Should I? Just to make them change, the, just so I can do my double government early on? It would cost me an R&D voucher, which I did get an extra one of. And I... I do want three robots in the same pile and all of that stuff. Maybe I'll regret this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna call security. So I do have to do this on my turn, technically. But hey, it's solo. We can freewheel this. So how's the app gonna handle that? So I spent an R&D voucher, because that's where I am. Where do you want them to go then? They'll go to the lab where you really don't want them to go, or they'll go to the supply and they'll take first player. So maybe you should just let him do it. All right, then. Okay, other me, you win. They're going to go to the government then. They're going to take the lovely double space that I want. I could do something else next time. So we can tell the app they have gone to the best bit of the government spot. So it's telling us, put them in the action space. Then if Latif was there, we would move him. He wasn't, and you can tell the app that you've done that. So, saboteur's actions, they take a chemical. Take chemical. Oh, and it gives us a little pop-up of uh, their thought process. So, they take a chemical from the section that depicts the fewest number of supply vouchers. So, if I show you the supply section of the board, you see that that would be everything but green, basically. Green comes from the next more expensive section. So they would take any of these cheap chemicals. If there is more than one type of chemical in the cheapest section, they will take the one they currently have the least of in their hideout. Their hideout is a bit covered up by the, the bot website now. They started with these two. So that's what I've got. So they wouldn't choose this one. So we are down to white, red and blue. And this symbol here, the cogs and stuff, the bigger or smaller cogs, that's on the cards as well. That's their tie break now. If still tied, they take the bottom most one. So they will take a blue chemical, which is the bottom most uh, one of that list. So they've had a chemical. Then they're going to flip a blue side up subsidy tile. There are subsidy tiles in the government section. So their preference for weather which is again based on symbols on their card, is starting from the wind section. Is there a blue tile they can flip over there? Yes, because they're the first to go there basically. Uh, they have got free reign of all of this stuff and unfortunately it's never good when these get flipped and hey that's opportunities going away. But they do the bottom most one, so they flip that tile. Then they place one of their bots in an empty bot space for a branch of which the saboteurs have a matching chemical. So, you know, as if as if they had to pay a chemical for it. They prefer branches in this order with available research tokens. 
so they will prefer actually like this this will really help them out as well i don't know if i should have stopped them now hey we just got to make decisions right and live with them so their priority is if they were to place their bot in wind would they get a research token yes there's two research tokens still there so we can tell the app yeah they can go for wind remove the bottom most available subsidy tile from the branch well that's that's not too bad actually because yeah they're taking something that they just flipped so that's not too bad is it and they go in like there are three spaces here they go there if it's possible a b c there if that's full to go there that's full to go there so they're going to pop their bot there and then take the relevant machine part from the supply and place it down there finally they get a research token from that branch is one available yes and you can see in the app it's just refreshed they have got that token there which is dangerous because uh when they get sets and stuff it's bad if all bot spaces of the branch are now full so the branch is the column of the government we're talking about if that had all machine parts in it now the government would activate that branch and the target score would jump up that's not happening yet last thing they discard the current security report and draw a new one so then there's another part of the the round hey tyler yes this is a website running the solo if you if you google weather machine solo helper then yeah it's, it's unofficial but so far amazing it just reminded me of all of these steps and stuff i know it's in play raids and that but hey it's helping me so the a part of a round is us doing our actions we've done that the b part of a round is does the weather machine run we look at where professor latif's robot assistant is based on setup they've started in the ice chamber and we look at the branch of the lab is this full of robots no it's not i think the the website's asking us something about this is it so it's telling us it's reminding us uh, the experiment runs if there is at least one experiment tile match oh yeah that's important as well there isn't in the lab a snow experiment tile either so even if that was full of bots it wouldn't run because there is an experiment there for it so if there's a bot in every space and there is an experiment tile ready no the experiment is not running so if the experiment is not running you may choose to return your bots from that branch i haven't got any if the saboteurs have got a bot there we place a new extreme weather tile oh dear the bots stay there and then return any of latif's bots on the active branch to the side of the lab based on setup latif gets a bot in all of these bits they now go back to the side of the lab and then prepare for the next experiment remove the rightmost experiment tile in the display matching the active branch there aren't any refill the display move latif's assistant to the next branch it would go right but it looped back around to the start so the next one is rain there is a rain tile in the display there are no robots in here currently but yeah if uh, if we do stuff then we uh, we can make that experiment happen but yeah i'm kind of feeling like the round afterwards i only need to get one bot in there to make that experiment happen for wind and if the experiment happens i'll get this tile and stuff yeah i want that to be the thing really i can just hear rachel's making a cup of tea so i best uh, drink this and not reveal that i've been talking for an hour without having much of a drink and then it just reminds me it's at the end of the round turn order i'm still going first that's not changed and if latif is at his office remember to get uh, income and put him back in the supply so it's back to my turn they pink is going to try and go to government which means they are going to try and go to the lab which i don't want to happen do i Ooh. at what point do i call security can it be before i move during step three of your turn so after i have decided to go somewhere
actually, I want, to try, I want to try and keep them out of the lab because if they get one assistant on rain and rain doesn't happen, they make the weather worse. And if we do the experiment, the weather gets worse. I know the weather will get worse eventually anyway. But I kind of feel like I need to stop that from happening. Because they're, they're basically choosing government again, where they already are. So they will go to the next one along, which is lab, and that's bad. So on my turn, I haven't got a subsidy tile or an investment marker I could use. That's step one. Step two, move to somewhere new, a new department. So they're still in the lab here. I could I could come here and get a couple of R&D vouchers and then do something labby. Or I could actually go here and just get one voucher and do two labby things. But I can't do this labby thing because you've got to have a full row of uh, wooden books. The left-hand side, though, is how we get uh, bots out here. But we can also do it at the government, too. I want to go to the government. And since I can't do both actions at the government, annoyingly, I'm okay to spend a government voucher. I want to make them go to R&D. I'm going to call security. Which normally, you can see in my... It was my very first solo game, but I don't think I ever called security. So I've paid... Do you want to call security? You have to pay a voucher of the type matching the location where you are, or a science voucher. Call security. Get them called. Okay. So it's drawn two more cards for me. And I have to decide where I want them to go. So this is the one that it already was. Pink going to government, which I don't want because it's going to send them to the lab. Pink going to the lab. I don't want that to happen either. It's going to have to happen sooner or later, mate. It's fine to happen, though, next time. It's fine to happen next time when... The experiment I want to happen is going to happen anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I think this turn, I want to make the white saboteur go to supply, which I hate because it will make them first player, I think, for next round. But it'll be okay in, in other ways, I hope. <laughs> then... I can put one back on top of the deck. I think, yeah, let's let's put this one back on top of the deck then. Because that'll put them in the the lab. And they'll put a robot in rain. So that, I want that, don't I? And then discard this one. The going to the government one. Stop going to the government. That's my place. Yeah. I think I'm happy with that. Finish calling security. And that has the added benefit of, I don't want him to go to supply and take first player, but that will make Latif move. And we want to get him moving, so I get income and stuff like that. And I can get science vouchers from going to places where he is. Even though I'm not going to be able to go here because that's where I am. So yeah, I'm just, go I'm just going in this rightmost space. So I, I need to get myself a lab voucher and an additional one because there is someone to the left of me. I can only choose one of these options right now in the government. So, I can either choose a subsidy tile that I want to happen. I get vouchers based on the row and column where that subsidy tile is, and they can get me all sorts of stuff. You might recognize, you know, get a chemical, get a warehouse tile, get a bot. Publish some research, which is usually an action you have to go and do. Do an action from around the board without having to spend one of the things that you usually have to spend to do it. I've got funding tracks, all that kind of stuff. So you get to do the thing, but you just flip the tile. No one can choose that tile again doing this action. So you get to do the action of a subsidy tile and you get some voucher benefits from it. The other option is, hey, you go up the track for something, you put a robot out, you have to spend a gear of the relevant color where you put it, and then you can take a tile from one of those spots. It move, it gets the government closer to running their machine to fix the weather of that particular type, 
and it gives you a subsidy tile which you can activate as step one of your turn in the future. Now, is them going first next time going to absolutely wreck the weather machine getting resolved? Like, when the weather machine tests next time, tell me about the weather machine running. In turn order, get your bots back, get a research token. Can they get a research token of the same type again? Because would they steal this from me? if they get involved in this weather machine next time. They can take a token more than once. So I wouldn't get that, would I? Can I? Yeah. That's going to ruin everything, isn't it? Yeah, I think I should have discarded something else. I think that's going to ruin the whole thing for me. Because they're going to be first player. Depends on what helps them complete. Oh, yeah. They'd prefer not to. So might they go somewhere else? So they might not choose to go in that branch, mightn't they, next time? Okay, so it might not all be lost. Because what I'm thinking now in the government place, both subsidies for sell apart have the same voucher bonuses. Yeah. So like one trick you can kind of do is, I choose this action, I flip over this, which gives me this action. So then I can go and buy one for, for later. And then you've kind of got two things for the price of one. You've gained some vouchers from flipping it. And you do this bit without having to actually spend the machine part. And it's a way of, if you go in the leftmost space, you can technically do a government thing three times. I'm kind of thinking... What if I just flip over one of these that lets me put a bot in the lab? But chances are I'll be going there next time, right? They will be going to the lab next time because you've put that card on the top. So they're going to get that double space. I just think if I take a tile that lets me put something out in the lab. It will kind of be done after they've already gone, but they might not choose to go into that row. Hi, Rach. Hi. See, what would it get me? If I just flip it and don't take it, it'd get me a supply voucher, yeah. kind of nice, lab voucher, kind of nice. Neither, like, massively important to me. I would like a chemical as well because I want to go back over to the R&D of which, you know, you could flip this over and get a bot right in R&D without having to spend the chemical if that's what you're worried about. Oh, I'm already just, <laughs> just ruined... I think we need to get stuff out. It's half term in uh, in schools this week. So Rach is just out and about, although she has been to, to it today, actually. But just like getting the class ready. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to get a bot in in lab normally because I haven't got any chemicals. So yeah, I need to do this. So there's only one out there because they've taken the other one to add a lovely science voucher. So I think I'm going to go for this one and let's just flip it. 
So yeah, this is my one action. It's cost me two government vouchers. So there's all my government vouchers gone. And I get to flip this, which gets me a supply and a lab voucher. A one supply voucher. I've got so many lab ones, and I don't want to go there. I could alternatively just get a chemical and then go to the lab next time. But then I would just get I would just get two lab points. And that isn't helping me. Oh, I had plans this time. I thought it was going to go so well. I feel like I broke it already. <laughs> yeah, there, there's hardly any spaces to go to. But uh, already I've messed myself up. I mean, I could just ignore that experiment, but that seems... It seems dangerously early to be abandoning things like that. Let's go for it. Right, I'm putting a bot out, and it's going to be great. We're going to go in the wind department. If they hadn't taken that, I could have gone there. That would be the second one. That would be the third one when the thing happened, and it would be amazing. Ugh. Right, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I don't get anything else for that. RH. Has it been down? Have you missed any major bits? Might have just been me moaning about how I've messed up. I don't know what I'm going to do next turn. I've got like a supply point. And I think I've uh, exhausted all the options because the, the saboteurs have gotten right in front of me. And I think I've messed up the action with what they're going to do next time. And maybe this time. So yes, I've moved. Let's see if it hasn't moved. We can perform actions. We've done all of that. Right. So, the saboteur is going to Latif, who is on the supply space. So, move saboteur to action space. Yep. Move Latif if required. So, oh, and it reminds me what Latif does. So, Latif is going to go to the next section. And he gets rid of a bot, doesn't he? So check the active branch of the weather machine in the lab. If he doesn't have a bot there, put a bot there. If he does, or the branch is already full of players, put a bot in the next bit. And then you keep going until, hey, there isn't one here. So he pops a bot there instead. Yeah, yep. And then when he moves here, discard a research token of the same branch of the active weather. So he gets rid of that... Um, rain token and then the saboteurs action the saboteurs claim the initiative so they're going to be first next round i believe and they take two chemicals so the same decision process basically for how they're getting these chemicals so from the cheapest place there's loads what they have the least of they haven't got these two so that's what they're taking they've got a chemical of everything Oh, thanks, Shivy. I hope I'll be proud in the, the rest of it. Uh, it's not more tied, so that's what they take. And then they discard the current security report and draw a new one. Does the weather machine run? No. So I can bring bots back. They aren't in there either. So Latif's bot goes away. The assistant goes over there. Thanks, Windows, but this isn't the time to tell me about the... Security updates or summer. Move this into the next branch. I've done it. Saboteurs are going to go first next round. Latif is not at his office. And he's at a place where I can't go to. So we can go right back to the saboteurs then because they are now first. So pink saboteur is going for the leftmost space of the lab. We don't have to move Latif. So they gain an award token, which gives them a full set of weather, which is bad. Place a bot onto an available bot space of a branch for which the saboteurs have a matching chemical and with a matching experiment tile in the display. 
so they've got all the chemicals. We don't have to worry about that. Matching experiment tiles. So we're looking at fog, wind, and rain. They prefer branches with the most bots, including mine, and spaces in the given order. So would they prefer the one that I've gone into because I went into it? I need to get a science token and I'm not going to be able to get one, am I? Might as well just <laughs> quit. So the, the main thing, right, is like their first decision is they want to go to a branch with the most bots in it. So they will go to where I go because these can just be knocked out. So they have to pay the chemical, I think, but well, it's not much consolation, is it? So, so that that overrides that tiebreaker, doesn't it? Like this tiebreaker doesn't even come into it because the most bots is wind because I went there. Should I have got a chemical and then gone in there afterwards, and then they would have gone into fog? Maybe. <laughs> hey Daniel, how's it going? I don't feel like I am uh, going to break it either. So they discard the current security protocol and do it. Yeah, so that's the end of their action. Then they have got a full set of research tokens. So they are removed from the game. This has gone so badly wrong so quickly. <laughs> because they get a matching set, this is not part of their normal action, it's because they had a full set of tokens. The awards are kind of wild and they will uh, count for anything. Take the top extreme weather tile matching the, t the thing that got bumped up. And yeah, I'm not getting this, am I, either? And uh, yeah, so th the wind gets worse. And they discard the card. And we can now sight wind. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help. My turn. Okay. So, yeah. I can't go to the lab where I have all the vouchers because that requires me to have a chemical. I don't have any chemicals. I had gears to come to the government and everything. I, yeah, I haven't got any chemicals to go and come to R&D either. I can't stay in government. I haven't even got any government vouchers. Where I would get a lovely science point. So I've got to come to supply with basically no points. So I get a voucher of my choice and another voucher of my choice because he's there. It might as well be science, right? But I think I've got to spend them now because otherwise it's just going to all be wasted even more. So let's think then. It's gone so well in the past. It's nice having robots. We want chemicals to do experiments in future. So what's going to come in next? You're going to come in next, Sun. And that's going to be next round. So it would help you, especially if you're going to go to the lab, to have one of these. But it might not happen still because the bots would have to put someone in the lab for that experiment to run. So you might just end up with a bot in there forever. Failing that, that would run and that one should have white. Blue, if you didn't end up doing the experiments, could also be used over here to get a bot out in R&D, so blue might not be a bad chemical to get. Green is the other one that I need, though, and green's just been made more expensive. I'm going to buy a blue chemical, and green's the only other chemical that I can store because of the space. I, I, I could get a warehouse space, couldn't I, as well? You're probably going to have to get the green one by doing some kind of subsidy thing, which we might do next time. But he's in the double space, though. Ugh. Clear off.
We've got no government points, so it would probably help to get a government point, wouldn't it? It's spent. It's spending a super science point to do it, though. He'll give me a science point next time. It'll be okay. Yeah, get a robot. Get a government point. I want to have a science left over, don't I, for when the experiment happens. What am I going to get? A free lab action. Or an investment marker. Maybe the investment marker would be the thing to get. Oh, it is all going terribly. Right, yeah, that's my, <laughs> it's my turn then. So, the weather machine is running, but it's, again, it's going to go horribly wrong. So, do the saboteurs have a bot in the active branch? Yes, they do. The... So, for each of the saboteurs' bots in the active branch, give them the bot back, raise the target value by the CP printed on the experiment tile. So, that's the experiment that's happening. So, they get... Well, they don't get two points. My target goes up by two points. It's the first time it's gone up, though. Then take the research token if available. Yep. And if research token... Oh, yeah, I've got to tell the app. They got this one. My turn. Return your bots. And the same thing happens if I'm willing to pay a science or can pay a science. So I get my bot back. I can pay a science. If you haven't got a science, remember, you can pay three of something else, which maybe I should have done because I've got so many lab... Could you have had anything else from here, though? Another warehouse tile, but how would that have helped? Yeah, all just a bit stuck. I suppose you could have had a green instead of a blue. Nah. Stick with it. So I've spent a science. I can have two points. I'm on the board. And I can either have what I did before, so put a bot out here without having to pay a chemical, or I can have an investment marker. This is something I can spend at the start of my turn to get one of these goal tiles on my board. I get a benefit, either a machine part or a voucher of my choice or a chemical of my choice. That's how I could get the green chemical, isn't it? But it depends what they're going to do next time. Can I see that? I don't think I can see it at the moment, can I? Oh, it requires me. Oh, you just get to do it. Yeah, it hasn't got the crossed out chemical thing. I think I got that wrong in the old playthroughs, actually. I have now, I've got the chemical to do it. It's just, if I go here now and pay this chemical. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So after the experiment. So there's nothing getting lost from the streaming end. I wonder if it is on uh, on Twitch as well. Right. To prepare for the next experiment, yeah, the assistant moves. That experiment tile's gone it's in his office. So they are going to go, the white saboteur is going to go to R&D. So they will, uh, they will do that. They will go to the best space. I can't seem to block them. Uh, let's see if it doesn't move. Saboteur's actions. Place a bot on an empty bot space of a branch. They prefer branches and spaces in this order. So starting with rain. So in the rain branch, oh, and the topmost. So they go in the topmost rain branch. Do, oh, do they have a chemical matching the chosen space? Yes, they've got um, a red chemical. So yes, they move a chemical from their hideout to the chosen space. And they take that research token. Yes, it's available. And then, because they get to do a double thing, place a bot onto an empty space for a branch which they have a matching chemical. They prefer branches in this order with available tokens. So wind. So is there somewhere in the wind that they can go? 
Yeah, I'm not going to get three matching ones now. Starting from scratch there. So blue and green, but they, they're going top to bottom, aren't they? So they would go in that one and spend a blue. Move the chemical, matching the space from the hideout to the supply. And yeah, they get that. They take that research token. <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll change the win condition to, can I get 10 points in this game? Um, so the saboteurs, yeah, they discard their card and they've got a set of two research tokens for something that's now got a citation. So I can either raise the target value by five or discard the top card of the security card deck, which is them going to the government. I don't know if I mind them going to the government. Yeah, raise the target value. I'm not getting it anyway. So we can go on 42 there. And then I think that's it for them. My turn. Okay, so we have got a chemical now, but they've they've gone to the exact thing that we've got the chemical for. So yeah, I think in every conceivable way, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm that. So maybe we go to government. Rightmost space. I would get two lab research points and a science because Latif's there and I can do one of the things again I feel like I have got one of the tiles for it and I can cite it now if that's ever going to matter I might as well put a bot and I can spend my green gear in this column and get one of these tiles Get a warehouse space, or... Or we just choose this, and then flip the you get a free thing. Oh, and you don't have to spend the machine part. Because, yeah, choosing this would get me either... I know they're both the same, aren't they? We've done this before. R&D and a lab voucher, which I don't want. I want... Double science here. There's loads of vouchers. Double science for the tile itself. Maybe we just flip it, but then you haven't put a gear out, and that's the point of getting the government to step in on this tile sooner. Oh, first thing you do, though. What about your investment mark? You haven't spent that. That's step one of your turn. Spending that. Which goal do you think might happen? Have five subsidy tiles. I have zero. Five different things in this column. Citations and awards are different things, right? Twelve things strewn about the book area. Five different things in the left column. Three complete rows. It can help me get a chemical that I need as well, whichever one I decide to put out. Like decision. But... Yeah, there's, there's not as much they've already gone in that column we can go in another column there might be time I think it's going to be easy to mess up. Five subsidy tiles. Maybe it'll happen. I want a... F I do want a chemical, but do I want it to be green anymore? Maybe I want to try and get these machine parts to fix the weather up here. Do you know what I mean? I've got a green... I need another green and a red, but I've got no space. Oh, that's going to be an issue. 
it's going to be a bigger issue than anything else. Ugh. Yeah, we're not even dealing with one of the lovely weather types that's got a machine gear in its rewards. We'll keep hold of the gear. Let's get a chemical. Maybe it'll help. Right, so I'm going to do this one. So the spend two vouchers, one government voucher, one science voucher. I'm going to choose the flipper thing that lets me do this one without spending the gear, which gets me a lab and an R&D voucher. I'm going to choose, so my bot still has to go down. Let's choose the subsidy tile that gets me two vouchers. That might uh, help me. And it gets, so we spend, the relevant gear just comes from the supply. And if we come to the government in the future again and do this, yeah, Shelley says the government will step in and do a stage of win. Because if another weather gets to level three, it's over. So I've done that. Oh, I haven't gone up the funding track. Make sure you do that. That's the downside of doing the lab automatically. You haven't gone up the funding track, but it's all right. It's on there. I'm not really sure. But we've got two cogs on there anyway, at least. That's two thirds of the way. So I'm done. The so this one could, in theory, very much happen. Oh, and you didn't move. We did go up the track. Thanks, Paul. I need to go up on each of them. We didn't move him. What should he have done? He would have put a bot out here. And he doesn't take these books away. The experiments take those books away. Because I went to his section. I'm thinking maybe I should go there next time. And I should have picked a white thing so I can be in this experiment. I know it's not like necessarily the thing I desperately need. Oh, also get your, your token, which gives me two supply points. Hey. I've got a lot of lab points. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mind change. Should I take a white chemical instead? I know it's not as valuable. And you can't store it. So no, maybe you shouldn't. What's this one? I can spend vouchers to swap the colour, can't I? I just I could come here now and do a breakthrough. Because I can sight wind because it's been researched by someone else. It's not as good points wise. But you can do it. And that will get me robot investment market. Allow me to do a breakthrough if I can get the gears to get the weather back down. I think, yeah, the, get the government to do that one. And then I can do the easier one. But the easier one needs two, two breakthroughs to happen to make it lower again. Maybe don't worry about uh, getting the breakthrough on it. But yeah, being involved in this experiment would be nice. I don't think I can make it happen, though. Maybe you're just going to have to spend vouchers to change the colour of the chemical you've got. Yeah. Right. Getting right in my way, aren't they? I think I'm done with uh, my stuff though, aren't I? Yeah, the experiment hasn't run. They've moved, moved, moved. Yep. It's all great. Saboteurs are going first again. And. Pink Saboteur. Oh, that's costing me a voucher. Is going to the leftmost space of government, of course. Because uh, I, I can't block them off. Let's see if it doesn't move. The Saboteurs take a chemical. So cheapest chemicals... Something they haven't got. That one. Flip up a blue subsidy tile. So priority is this column, bottom most. They flip that. And then put a bot onto an empty bot space of a branch for which they have a matching chemical. They prefer this branch. So they've got white. Yeah, they've got white. So they would go there. They Oh, they take this away again. And they put the white back in the supply, right? 
Should they have spent the green ages ago when they did that one? I think maybe they should have spent the green. And maybe I should have been able to buy a green. I don't know. Right. So tell the app. They took that one. They get the research token for it. Oh, yeah. Put the machine part that should be required in with it. Yes. And then is that now full and the government activates the branch? No. They discard their current security port and draw a new one. My turn. Okay. So... I'm kind of thinking the lab. They wouldn't be involved in this experiment, would they? And they're about to make this weather worse. Like, soon. They're going to get that thing at some point. Okay, if I go here, I'm not to the right, so I won't get extra R&D points. But he is there, so I will get a science point, won't I? I'll get an R&D point and a science point, which I think I'm happy with. And I'll get to do both things. Remind me of Latif. Oh yeah, it's just he he adds the bots. So active branch, is there a bot? Yes, yes, yes. Pops a bot there. And he's just gone in here. The active branch is this, so he takes away the last one of there from me doing it, unfortunately. But he's uh, he's nearly at income. And then so in the lab, I need to spend two vouchers from somewhere so that next time Pink's going to try and go to the lab. Do I need to change? Do I need to call security now? And stop them going to the lab. I don't know if I can afford to do it multiple times. We'll decide in a bit. Because yeah, I can do both things. Let's just do this one for now. Do that. So I've got a full row, kind of. Because they've unlocked this wind one, I can sight. So yeah, that's done. Slide that along and I get a reward, a robot. I can only have this robot, which gets me a supply voucher. I've just about got space for it. Then, I'm not the first to do it, but I get some points. And the points are on your player board here. Four points if an award is present. Two points if a research big is present. No point for the citations. So, four points. Uh, get yourself an investment mark. Oh, did I want to do this first? Might as well. What would you have gone up in? You were already full in that. Maybe government. Yeah. Maybe one government, one science. Why wouldn't you choose science if it's available? Uh, yeah, because you're going to get an investment mark when you can spend that next turn. So, yeah, get an investment marker. That's done. This side needs me to spend one lab point. And I think we can spend a supply and an R&D point to swap this color to white so we can go here. So it just like hypothetically swaps it. Why am I keeping the blue though? Or you could go there with blue next time. I don't know, maybe work on this row if you want to try and get them all in the same, I don't know. And you're not really spending it anyway, it's going right back to the supply because you're putting a robot there and getting involved in this. So we want to keep make sure that there's a science available. I'll go up the funding track as well, don't forget that. And that's going to get me a, a thing. And we could in future do breakthroughs. We've got to get a lot of gears to do a breakthrough on that though. We can move on to these bots now, though. Now I've got six bots unlocked. Wind experiments. You can let me put another bot out or get an investment marker. Okay. Well, that's, that's a turn then, isn't it? So, there is a fog experiment and it's the, the row is full of bots. So the experiment is running. 
they do not have a bot in the active branch. So my bots return. I pay a science voucher. Yeah, it's one science voucher. I get two points. And I can either have an investment marker or put someone put a robot out in the lab paying the chemical. Next time they're trying to come to the lab. Yeah, get them to fix it and then do the breakthrough. Yeah, maybe I can get wind back. It's, it's not red, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not green. So I would just need a green and a red to do it if the government helped me. Come on, government, give us a hand. Right. So. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Am I, am I putting a robot in the lab? paying the chemical cost so i could go here maybe for an ice thing next time but that would their active card they all come into the lab so i think this is going to kick off so yeah well it is going to kick off if i go there otherwise it's not going to happen and they might have a This is all terrible. Do it. Put a bot in the lab. Go for it. Right. <laughs> I've had that. Take a... Research token from the active branch. Brilliant. So... Let's get supply points. I'm kind of with you. These, these are the best things. I'm, ooh... But what about machine parts? But you're nowhere near getting them. Get two supply vouchers. We might need to go there at some point soon. Yep, take the active branch. Then there was Latif's bot there, so that gets removed. They can't have it. Then their bots go back over there. Extreme weather is unfortunately happening. Yeah, you go. gotta break a few eggs. Then the experiment goes away. Slide new ones in. And the branch moves over. Saboteurs are going first again. Let's see if it's not at its office yet, but maybe I'll go to R. I've got no chemicals. Okay, I'm not going to R and D. Okay, saboteurs. I didn't call security. That may well have been a mistake. They are going to choose here. And don't they put the target score up by one? Because I'm already there. Like instead of getting bonus vouchers, they put the target score up, I think. So they are not getting the double action, though. Which is summer, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Raise target value for each piece to the left. Move Latif, no. Savage's actions. Place a bot onto an available bot space, which they have a matching chemical and with a matching experiment tile. Yes. They prefer branches in the most spots. They want to go up to the top. Yep. So they're going to go up here because I've kind of made that happen-ish, haven't I? So they spend that. Two spots maybe moved away. They're going into ice. And that's what they do. So in a way, it's not been as bad because I was already in this spot. Now, do we want... Double government, but I haven't got... I've only got one government voucher. We could go to supply, and I've got a lot of supply vouchers. We've got an investment marker first. We could use the investment marker next time to get a machine part and fix the wind. Do a breakthrough over here. How are you going to get chemicals for it, though? I don't know. Is 
it's going to be okay. I'm feeling oof, government or supply, but that's not really narrowing anything down, is it? They were just the options anyway. I can go to... If I spend my science vouchers, I can come here and do double. Do my flippy thing again to get this without spending the gear. And then that makes them fix the weather. Yeah. And then I only need two green. And I can get the other green with the investment mark here. So, yep, yeah, that. And then next time, do the breakthrough and fix the weather again. Yeah? But, fix, yeah, it won't, it won't get it go down again. But you'll have a thing, and you can get a reward, and then you can do this one. And that'll get you another investment marker. Investment marker. Spend it. Are we putting a new goal out? We can flip this one and get a research point. That doesn't really matter, does it? A voucher of my choice. Let's get another goal out. Oh, I, I cited... Green, I have to discard one of my green goals. I think 12 bits of wood in this place isn't going to be possible. So, yeah, get rid of that goal, catching up. Three full rows, is that possible? I don't know. We'll find out. And get a gear, and it's going to be a green gear. I also want a chemical, though. How am I going to get that? So I can do both things here next time. You're probably not going to be able to do both. He's coming to government next time, though, so I'll be in his way. Yeah, double governments. Definitely. How am I going to get that chemical? I'm probably not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back, 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 back. What if... Right, the funding token on there, if we put a pink goal out, have five different things in here, seems unlikely. Have three bots in one column of this, seems unlikely. It's so hard. Five different things. So you will get me the chemical that I need. Let's work on this row, maybe. I'm not going to have this to spend, I don't think. I'm not going to have a spare gear. But... Investment token. Yeah, I'm going to get an investment token in a minute. I don't think I'm going to be able to go on the bottom, so I want white. Yeah. Ice is going to get worse as well. I don't know. So that's the investment token. Then next time, I'm going to get another one by doing this in a minute. So I can use that next time to flip this and get the funding, which is a gear. But you could have just got the funding of the green one. Because that gives you the benefit of another row. Okay, fair enough. Which you could have done as a chemical. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so not the gear yet. We'll get the gear next time. Right. So the actual action. I'm coming here and doing both of these things. So doing this one first. Government and a science. I'm doing this. So I get an r and I'm still zoomed out. And a lab token. And I get to do this without spending a gear. So a robot must leave. I get this. A green gear comes from nowhere. As if by magic. And... Oh, I haven't moved up the funding track. Move up the funding track, put your thing there, put a gear in, get the tile, and then get this, which I can't, so I get an investment token. Then 
then. The government are going to step in, right? Yeah. So, each bot in the column gets its owner three points. So, I will get six. The target goes up by three as well. Then... Oh yeah, government marker goes over here. That's the only one now. So the extreme weather is solved. Government marker just goes back. Put that back over there. All the bot spaces aren't full, so don't worry about that. And we just carry on. I think I'm going to use it to get a gear. Oh, yeah, we could just keep putting more out and not do the funding. Yeah, and I'll get the gear. And then I could do a breakthrough next time and put a bot out here somewhere, I think. I think. We'll see. We'll see if that helps. Because there's also no tiles here. I want to fix this weather, but they keep taking all of the tiles away. Ugh. It's annoying, isn't it? Is that not the pointer? <laughs> right. What do I need to do? We've done all of the bits, haven't we? I think I think I've got everything. Did I have a lab point when I went there? I don't think I did. Did I? Give yourself one, take it away if you already had one. Right. So I've done my turn. Does the weather machine run? It does. Okay, the saboteurs. Yes, they have a bot in the branch. So that comes away. And the experiment that's running is this one. They get five points. Well, the target goes up by five. Then, they get the research token. It was available. And then my bot comes back. I can pay a science to get five points. And, oh, gears! What? My bot's taking up too much space. I haven't got room for two gears. As much as I would like them, I would be throwing something away. So I think I'm going to get another investment marker. I'm going to get too many of these. You can only do one a turn. So yep, 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 yep. Gain the research token. Uh, we can go at the bottom and get two supply vouchers, but I'm already full. We go up and move the funding along. It doesn't really make a lot of difference, though, does it? If I want to fix bits of weather. Let's have it there. We'll just waste one. Yep. So, Latif's bots would take that away, but there aren't none left. Extreme weather. Ice level 2 is here. And... Yeah, I maybe instead. Well, I do need. To, I use. I need to do the investment market next time. But I have got an expand your workshop one. Yeah. Well, a bot will be leaving next time though. But yeah. I want to get a new bot as well, so we can get some of these really good things. Stream weather. You move along. And that's that. So Latif's not at his office yet, but he's gonna be. So, Saboteur is going to go here, but it can't. This is kind of why I made my decision, isn't it? It's, so instead, it's going to go to government, but I've blocked off this space. So the target score will go up, but it's not going to get to do two things. So the target value goes up by one. 
Letiv doesn't move. So place a bot onto an empty space of a branch which they have a matching chemical. Priority is ice first. So they've got a green and a... No, you can't have an ice. Rain. Yep, yeah, you've got the matching chemical for here. So pay the salmon one. You go there and you will take what is the topmost one. So you take that away and we put a matching gear up there. Which gear is it? I don't really know. Which one's salmon and which one's dark red? I suppose that would be dark. So we'll say that one's salmon. I guess. It looks very red though. Hey, that's that's metal for you. So tell this that they've taken a rain thing. And yeah, they're getting the yeah, topmost subsidy tile, replace it with the machine part. They get a rain research token. And the branches are not full. That's it for them. So I am coming over to here. I would like more government vouchers, but... Oh yeah, the spokes. The spokes match the drawings. So I get a government voucher and a science voucher, because Latif is there. And then Latif is going to go to his office... So he still puts a bot out on the weather machine. But we're going to get income at the end of this round. That's going to be a gear as well. So I think put the bot out first so you've got room for the... Oh, actually, we could put the bot there. I could have the gear at any point. Now, the first thing you've got to do is investment marker anyway. So investment marker, before I did any of that, you didn't see that. And we can just... We can just put more tiles out, I suppose. Just to get a to get one gear and then get the funding later, maybe. Because the, the middle one gets you a certain number of science, more the more you've moved apart, but also it lets you get the income of one of the other tracks treated as if you're this many spaces further than you actually are. But yeah, if I just want a gear, I could just put another token out. So I just need a red gear if we're going to do a breakthrough in uh, wind which is that one then so that was the investment marker at the start so I'm going to do a breakthrough you have to have published research for a type of weather yep that one so we're doing a breakthrough on wind so take your breakthrough marker and pop it on one of these spaces. I can have a gear. Oh. Do I want a gear or two points? If I want a gear, maybe I should do the robot first. Do the robot first. You haven't spent any vouchers anyway. Do the robot. So, go up the funding track. Oh, the gears have got to be in the same row, haven't they? I can I can move stuff around though, can't I? You're allowed to shuffle stuff around at any time, aren't you? Are you? I think you are, aren't you? I think you are. Let me have a look. I think that was at the top of it. Yeah, you can always rearrange stuff. But you've just got to have, like, if you want to do something, if the weather got really bad and you need, like, five gears, you've got to have, like, one massive row of workshops to be eligible in the first place, as well as have that ridiculous amount of stuff. You can move things around, you just can't throw anything out. So, yeah. Moving up the funding track... Put a robot out. And what chemical did I get? White. I'm sure there was a reason for that. Go up any track. Let's go up science. And that goes out here permanently. Yeah, because they might make this worse again. And that would be really bad. So maybe that's one we want to try and work on. Right. You go out there. Get the immediate reward. But, but then you're getting this. Which doesn't give you a a research reward again. You're just getting all these investment tokens. But they keep nicking stuff off me. Oh, you need to go in the middle. That wouldn't have got me supply vouchers at all. 
I was doing that loads in the playthrough. I mean, frost might like might get bad, but it's not going to get to three like right away. It will unlock the citation though, and then if you went back to the government and got that, you would be able to do it in the future. Go for it. They've got two of it. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Another investment marker, and unlock the citation for wind fog, which means. I can spend a science now and have three points. Go on. I need them where I can get them. So that's the first bit. Then spend two R&D points. There's my wind breakthrough. So put that on here. Do I want a gear? Yeah, get a, get a green gear for the future. If we're going to be trying to work on this weather. Get a reward. Then. Points. Oh yeah. So I need to spend the gears. So all that's required in gears is green and red. I could spend a blue. And so I could gain a blue right now and spend it straight away. But. It depends what you want to deny points for. You get two points for everything you provided. Your bot provides a gear. That's why we're kind of covering these spaces up. The, the bot's bot is providing a gear as well, though. So I would get two, four, six points. They would get two points. Oh, that's all right. Rather than having me get another gear. And then I get an award. So you don't have to place an award. You have to place normal ones, kind of at the end of your turn. I know, I just kind of chuck them on. Oh, thanks, Jen. Have a lovely day. But yeah, I can chuck this in and fill up any rows. I don't know if I'll be able to go to government next time. It would be nice if I could. I don't think I can afford it, though. Oh, we're going to get income, though. Maybe I will be able to. Ooh, right. And not having that supply, actually, means that I'm not wasting as much in my income as well. I don't think we're in the game, but maybe we're... Not as out of the game as I feared. Right, so. The experiment's not running because we're a mile off that. So, the experiment is not running. You can bring your bots back. Saboteurs don't have any bots. Latif's bots go back. Remove the rightmost rain experiments. Move that along. Yep. Then. Saboteurs are going to go first next time. Still. But it is income time. My income. I get. Vouchers basically. Lab voucher. An R&D voucher. A government voucher. A science voucher. A supply voucher. And a gear. I can't have another wind breakthrough can I? How do I make that go down again? You've got to research it again. I don't really know. Can't do it on my own, because they never help, do they? Maybe we just got to hope it doesn't go up again, I suppose. There's an experiment for it. We've got to work on something else. What am I getting? I'm getting a free gear from something. Oh yeah, from the income. So, if we're using wind as a guide, an extra gear, an extra gear would be helpful, like over here. We've got a green for the top cost. Maybe another white and try and get a bot down here that would give me another bot. I'd need extra gears for it. Yeah, and yeah, white. We want more bots out there, really. Okay. That's all of the income. And then he moves back to supply. Okay. Saboteurs. Pink is going to government. Should 
Should I have stopped this from happening? I'm not sure. So they can go to... Oh, they're going to Latif. They're going to Latif. So they're going to supply. Which is great. They'll get chemicals. Oh no, they're already first... So Latif moves there and puts a bot out in the weather machine. The active branch is wind. Can't take a tile away. So because they're already first player, they move the target up to. They get two chemicals. So the cheapest ones, ones they haven't got, and then they're going from the bottom. So those two. And then discard the security port and draw a new one. Me. Okay, we've got vouchers everywhere. We have not got chemicals. Can't stay here anyway. Could do wind research. Because I've got an award and we can cite it. If we were willing to lose a goal. I can expand the warehouse or I've got an investment marker. We could come to government and it would move Lativ on. I'm full up on lab vouchers. I'm full up on everything. I want to do two government things. You're in my way. You could get a chemical by the, with the investment marker. And then we go to the lab. Move the rain research. Oh, he, here do you mean? When Latif... Oh. Which one? Last round? Oh, do, do the bot then lap? Do the bots remove it when the experiment doesn't happen? I thought they only did it when the experiment did happen. I think this is the only time that has mattered. So good for me to know that. Only if they're wrong. Great. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm doing it right then. Right. So what if we did go to the lab and get a chemical now? We could do a breakthrough and sighting and get someone out for sun next time. But that's a, that's a new type of weather that you're not even involved in. I just want to do double actions. Supply would be nice for unlocking power, like more powerful robots. And we've got a lot of supply vouchers now. And they are there, so we'd get an extra ticket, and we could get first player back. Government, we'd only get one action, and it would take up one of our precious gears. But I could get the other win thing from government and then my award and then it's a full lovely row and I haven't had to cite anything. Government. I do want to do both things. Right. We might have to supply soon anyway because I'm running out of bots. We're going to do the left thing. One, vouch one voucher. Move up the funding track. I've got about your tiles there. You haven't done any tiles. You need to spend a tile every time. What if we got funding from science, got a science voucher, and then do this track as if we were one higher on it, get three points and a gear, 
and we will get white because I'm about to spend a white. Put your robot out. There. White gear. Do I want a, a subsize marker that's going to move me up a funding tracker space or get me a robot? A robot. Who doesn't want robots? And that gets me that, which can go in there. And I could put the award in there at any time. And next time, that that's not going to be free though, is it? Because he moves, puts a bot out. I get to do one of them though. It's all right, we're working towards something. We're always working. Oh, and you didn't get your vouchers. Lab. Oh, and you should have got a science voucher, which you can't because you're already full up on. So maybe you shouldn't have done that, bro. Oh, well. Right. Yeah, and extra points for the award token. Four points for that being there. Rather than if we sighted, we wouldn't get any points. Or put them in the wrong... Oh, put it... You'd think putting things in matching coloured columns would be easy, wouldn't you? Right. Apparently I can't do it. Maybe we supply it at some point soon. Get bots back. Right. That's my turn. Remind me, oh yeah, weather machine isn't running. So, you go away, you move on, you get, no, no, no experiments anyway. It couldn't run. So nothing gets discarded. It's not running. Yep, yep, yep. Move them along. Discard, we didn't need to. Saboteurs are going first. Let's see if he's not in his office. Saboteurs. You are going to supply. Oh, that's strange. Oh. Look, maybe look at the card when you're making decisions. Okay. So they tried to supply and couldn't. So that means they're going to go to the best spot of government. It doesn't move Lativ. They're going to take a chemical. So cheapest section that they haven't got is both of them. And their decider is bottommost. So there we go. Flip up a subsidy tile. Their priority is water and the bottom most. So they flip that and then place a bot. Their priority is ice. So they can, have they got a, yeah, they've got matching things. They've got a matching chemical. So they want to go there. They've got a matching chemical that they spend and they're taking the Bottom most thing, so an already used one. It would be nice to do that again and replace it with a gear. It hasn't made the thing run, but it will get them this ice token. They've got two of a lot of things. Yeah, they've gone in the government so much, haven't they? Yeah, they've got the research token. The thing is not full. Discard the security port. Next time, he's going to go to the lab. Should I stop that? Because whether it runs or not, the sun would get worse. But they're nowhere near doing that again, so maybe I should just allow that to happen. They'll get this, sure, but that's not terrible, is it? Nothing's happening with sun at the moment. They would make it one worse. But an experiment isn't even there. So it'd be okay, wouldn't I? So, like, I know the experiment isn't running, but an experiment couldn't run. Amati's coming for a little visit. Hi, Rach. Hi. See, Marty's desperate to be on screen. Saboteurs, running experiments. If the experiment doesn't run, but a bot was there, a new tile is placed as if it had run. But no rewards are given for the tile. But what if the but what if the what if the experiment couldn't have run because there isn't a tile for it? Do they still do it as if a tile had been there? I think they do. Saboteurs, yeah, just by them having a bot there, it'll worsen. So maybe I should stop them. Call security. I've got a lot of vouchers, haven't I? To be able to do that.
So maybe... There has to be an experiment in the active row. Well, that's alright then. Well, that, that... I'm not worried at all about them going there then. Has to be an experiment in the active row, thank you. Right, so yeah, you go there and do... They might not do Sun, they might... They? But Sun's the one that getting evaluated next time that you have to worry about, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm not worried about what they're doing. What am I doing? Yeah, the experiment wouldn't run, but would they get their... Like, if they were to put a bot out next time in here, and then we get to the end of the round and the experiment doesn't run, but they had a bot in it... The experiment doesn't run, but they still make the weather worse, don't they? Because they're the saboteurs, and they get to bend the rules. Am I right in thinking that? They still have to have a certain experiment. Okay, thank you. So we are safe from that. And I think, even if they were to make sun worse, I think that's fine. So me. We could go to supply get some more robots with some juicy rewards. I do, I can get a free robot here and get chemicals and stuff, I guess. Oh, I've got no chemicals. I could use my investment market to get a chemical and then go to R&D and put another bot out in that column because I want to get a column full, don't I? But then I do not have... I can't do a breakthrough as well. Here you can't do both things, though, because he's in the way. But maybe it would be good to be able to do the breakthrough next time. But you'd move him and then he'd go into that gap. Supply, I would... Potentially get multiple bots. I'd get another reward, wouldn't I, if I did that next time? I could just publish a paper this time. But then next time I wouldn't get to do both things. They're coming here next time. And I could put a bot here now. I could get a chemical. I can't do both things, though. It's just, yeah, they're going to put... They might possibly... They're going to go next turn, aren't they, when... He's there. So that would be bad. There's an experiment there. What point am I in this round? They've just been, haven't they? And that's there. Next time they're going to put a bot there and make that kick off and make that worse. So concentrate on making it better. We're going to come here. We're going to get two R&D vouchers and a science voucher, but no first... Do something here. I don't need chemicals or anything, do I? To I don't need to do a investment marker. We could get a robot. We could get a robot and 
get a chemical or get us to put uh, someone out in the lab for free. If that's happening anyway, I might as well get a taste of it. Yeah, okay then, let's flip that over, get a robot for free, which I can now have because I've already got six robots out. And it's benefit immediately, no income bonuses for these bottom ones. It's immediate benefit is put someone out in the lab without paying a chemical. This isn't going to happen this turn, but this is going to happen next turn, so I might as well be involved. But I can stop them being involved. I can stop them being involved, though, because they haven't got the chemical that they need. If I go in this space, they haven't got a white chemical. But then aren't you making something happen? It was going to happen anyway. But this way I can stop the score going up, right? But then they'll put something somewhere else. And then that experiment will go off. Oh, it doesn't even go to... Oh, you can put it straight out from there and get, if your lab's full. That's cool. Yeah, I can go in either space. I was just thinking if I go in this space, they can't pay to be in this space. So it freezes them out, but they'll just place in somewhere else, won't they? And then that's potentially something to worsen next time, like maybe this one. There's not very long left, though, is there? Whereas if you don't go anywhere, they will go here next time and they'll kick it off. And you won't get any gears or anything. But I could just go in there and then they would still be able to go there. Now I don't know if I want to freeze them out. So we can always get the government's help. It's just, if I go here and then they choose to go there then the round after they're going to make ice worse and then that'll be level three, that'll be level three. And if I can't do something about that, it's game over. Maybe I just need to let them in and let them have their three points. Yeah, be on the one. Yeah, let them be on one they can pay for. Oh, God. Right. So that's my initial thing. And then I'm coming for an action. Okay. See you later. So I want to go here so they can't go to the right of me. I get my... Yeah, I was hoping to some in some way spend a voucher there, but there's no way of spending a voucher, is there? And get a science voucher that actually I can't spend. I suppose I could have changed the colour of something, but I don't really need anything to be a particular colour. We're doing research. We're putting that award there, which you can do at any time. We're doing research into this. So I can put another robot out. Oh, no. Was that the wrong bonus to take then? You could have just took one that got you a chemical. Because that benefit is not paying the chemical as well. Yeah. Change the bot. Get something that gets you a chemical. And what about a blue chemical... That'll let you put someone out there. So it's so easy, isn't it? Right. You could replace Lassie's bot and then you score double for two bots. <sighs> Maybe that is the thing to do. Okay, he needs to move anyway. So he puts another bot out and he gets rid of the sun thing there. But then I'm facing the same dilemma of if I'm in both spaces here, it scores three. If it's scored five or six, if it's scored six, I'd definitely go for it. 
But yeah, I'm worried about it. if I block off both spaces, they're going to go into ice, and then ice is going to happen and might end the game for me. I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is. But next time, I can't do both because he's there. Clear off. Yeah, next time I could have put a bot out there and... done uh, a breakthrough. Can you do a breakthrough next time? You're going to need... No, you're not going to be able to do one. Is that going to be a problem? Because you're going to need green, red, white, blue. And they have not helped in R&D. Well, they did there once, didn't they? Oh, no, they're there twice. Just not very helpful things. Might have to go to government next time and get them to fix the weather. Right. Is there one of this? Have we spent the lab vouchers even? No, I haven't. Two of them. Do that. I am not the first to research this, so we don't unlock it. But I do get points. Two, four, eight points. And I get an investment marker. Okay. Does the weather machine run? No. Move. No. No sun thing to discard. It's getting lost in me. Uh, thoughts and possibilities a bit, aren't I? Right then. Saboteurs. He's coming to the lab. Oh, that's available now because I've gone there. Maybe that was a bad idea. The ace lot is available. Don't have to move Latif because they get an award token if they get to go in the double. Should probably have spent a voucher and discarded this card. There's not many cards left. But yeah, should definitely have done that because now they've got an award and... <sighs> Stuff's going to be bad. What happens if weather needs to worsen and it can't worsen anymore? So they're going to put a bot on an available space which they have a chemical and there's an experiment tile. So it's either going to be fog or ice. Most bots, oh yeah, they go in fog, don't they? Where I am. And they discard... Their set of three, they put the fog level three out. They remove the lock. Oh, I should have told it about the locks getting removed. I forgot to tell it. I don't know if that's made a difference. Okay, my turn. That's only one level three. What happens, though, if it's already at level three and I do an experiment? You just can't make it worse if it's already... So the experiment's just not going to make it worse. So that's that's something then, I suppose. They've wasted their reward. Okay, then that's a plus. Because that was going to happen anyway at the end of this. So I suppose it would have been nice to... If I had frozen them out, they would have chosen something else, wouldn't they? Maybe this, maybe this was all worth it, though. Okay, so the game is not ending. There's only one level 3 thing out there. And ice isn't going to happen straight away next time. We could just go to the government. Investment marker can probably in some way get me a blue gear, and then we could do that, and they can run the weather machine and fix that. That's one option. We are about to get a load of gears. 
I could do a supply phase and make my warehouse bigger. How many tiles? Do, how many gears do I need? Two, three, four. Well, I only need one. I could get a bigger thing there. And then I'd be able to fix the weather myself next time. But what are you going to do this time? Because you're on about spending a gear there. Yeah, this time expand the warehouse so you've got four spaces. And then next time we can use the investment market to get the one gear that we need. Because we spent it this turn at the government. Although if we go here and just put a bot out. Yeah. We would move him and get income is one thing. Yeah, it doesn't sound worth it. <laughs> but you're going to have more points than that. Maybe government's the way. I do want to move him and get the income. I do want to have a breakthrough. I don't think we need the government. I think we need a Nobel Prize. I don't think we're going to have enough points. But what if we come here? We get two lab points. There. And... So, so first we need to do something. If you want to do that breakthrough next time, the thing you need to do has to be... Expanding the warehouse. And you haven't got the right thing, so you're going to have to spend two points somewhere changing a colour. To blue or red. But I could, I could get the thing that lets me put a bio for free. <gasps> Do it. Do it now. Swap that colour for blue. Why not? You go there. So move up the funding track. Spend your vouchers. You're not doing the things in order. Put your bot out. Spend the gear. Yeah, I don't even need that, do I? Because I can put a bot out for free. Do I have to spend the gear? I have to spend the gear, don't I, if I put one down there? But I could put one there and not need the white gear. Ooh, and that's getting me closer to having three in a row. But perhaps most importantly, that gets me a frost one. So if I do a breakthrough and get an award token, I could do another third research there. Does that get me the Nobel Prize? Doing three published papers? Or is it three breakthroughs? Yeah, still got to do the machine part. So it would probably be the white one. Right. Things are happening, aren't they? We can't say things aren't happening. Three breakthroughs, but three research papers is the step before three breakthroughs. The experiment is running. The saboteurs do have a bot in there. So there is not a research token available. So they just get their bot back and get three points. For me, my bot comes back and I pay two science vouchers because the experiments are getting later now. And I get three points and either two gears or an uh, investment token. So I want two gears. That white isn't going to be... I've got white. What did, I, what did I change? I had a green. Keep that green. You, you swapped the white one over. I need green and I need red and blue. 
to do that breakthrough. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Can't take a research token, so I get a science voucher. Then, Latif's bots weren't there. Top extreme weather goes on there. Can't. It's already the worst it could possibly be. You welcome, world. The tile goes away. I feel like these tiles haven't changed for ages. And that slides along. Then, I was sure like, oh, you're not learning the solo for the first time. This is surely going to be shorter than the last solo stream you did. It's not. Right. They are going to supply. Oh, I'll show you, Shah. They are going to supply. Don't move Lativ. Target value goes up by two and they get two chemicals. So cheapest section. Ones they haven't got, these two. There we go. They've got all available chemicals again. And next time, pink will be going to Lativ. There are three report cards left. This experiment's not going to happen, which is good. So, I want to go and have a breakthrough, don't I? And then next time they're going to go to supply again and raise that up by two, but that's okay. Yeah, they got two, two CP they got. So if I come here, I get two government vouchers and a science because Lativ is there and he goes to get income. I want to spend two R&D vouchers to get me a breakthrough. So I've already done the research for fog. Put it on there. Oh, do you want to do an investment market before any of this? Or this? No, 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 no. First of all, before we even came here. Oh, he needs to do his bot thing. Doing it all out of order. Before we even came here, I put a bot out here without spending a gear. Because I've got the subsidy token for it. I've run out of bots. Is that going to be an issue? It might. I've got four subsidy tiles as well. I need five. Might have to supply next time. Time's running out though. Okay, you're going there, and that benefit that gets me a voucher of my choice. I'm about to get loads in income in a minute. Wasted a bit. Oh, and get a you need to get the chemical from the supply, don't you? When I'm getting a freebie. So my action, yes, I think I've spent everything else to do it. Pop the breakthrough up there, which gets me an investment token. Run out of space. Then, the gears. We need green, red, and blue. The bots provide everything else. I get two points for each. Two, four, six, eight, ten points. The bots are not involved in this. And an award. But look at where that award can go. And then we can have a breakthrough. Bots might be a problem. I don't know if having no bots is going to be a really bad thing for me. Right. So now this is done. So my breakthrough gets discarded. But that's back down now. So that's good, isn't it? Weather. This didn't happen. So you get discarded. You get discarded. You move along. You come out. I don't get research tokens for that. Experiment is not running. Yep, 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 yep. He is in here. So income, I get lab, R&D, government, science, wasted, supply, wasted, and a gear. Oh. So I would like the government to step in. They can help me finish the frost one or either one of them. So if you want the frost one, probably red. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, I want blue though, because I want to go back here as soon as I can. Oh no. I want to come here and just flip that. I want to do both things. I want to just flip that so I can put a bot out there, but you've got no bots. And you have to pay. 
if there's loads of people in supply, which there's going to be. Oh. Right. Ge what what colour gear do you want? So I don't need that colour gear. I want that colour gear. Red. Right. Sabatus. Pink is following... Oh, Latif goes there. Pink is following Latif. So it's going into supply. Move Latif. Goes there. Puts a bot out there. Can't take that away. Target value goes up by two. They take two chemicals. So, the first one, the only thing that's in the cheapest bit, so they take that one. And then, all this is tied. They've got everything. I should be one more. Oh, R&D funding track. Thank you. And the other chemical, they've got everything. They're all in the same cheapest section, and their priority is bottom most. There are two report cards left. How do we make the game end? No real price thing. I'm not going to be able to do a breakthrough though. Am I? Probably not because you've got no robots. Right, we, we're doing their thing. They've had two things, I think. Next time, he is going to go to Latif, so he's going to the government. White is going to the government. Sure, good tactics, he said. If you can get in one of the two final experiments, they all run at the end of the game. If we don't immediately lose. Yeah. I think I've got to go and get... I've got to go and supply, haven't I? I've got to go and get robots. I can get good robots. What are the conditions that in which you win the game immediately? I'm sure I'm nowhere near them. Have more than the target. Not a million miles away. Fulfill four or more goals. Three rows. Five subsidy tiles. That's going to be possible. Three, ugh, a bit more time. Could have done it. I don't think we're going to do that, though. And you are on space five or more on two or more of the funding tracks. Well, one, two, three, space four, and that could go up with a bot. Space three, I don't think there's enough time. Right, what is the time for them? Well, you immediately lose if there are no things left, so we need to make an end of the game but that's never going to be full of bots that's never going to be full of bots and that's not going to run out of experiment tiles because we've gone so many rounds without that discarding anything so in supply we could get a bot that goes on an experiment the problem with that though is that this isn't running but it would at the end. No, it's going to get discarded. And it might that might not come in by the end. First of all, we need to do an investment marker before anything. Because we've got loads of these. So I suppose we want to put another tile out. Five things. We're not going to do four goals, are we? We could just flip something over and have the benefits of it. We got one in each. This one would move a funding marker, get me a chemical, and give me a voucher of my choice. The only chemical we could take would be green. Yeah, the other get a robot isn't here. But, 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 but. What? You haven't got robots to do this free thing. Yeah, I think we just had a dry patch with the experiments. Um, you get to use all your leftover investment tokens before final scoring. 
So do I want to use one? Well, we could go further up on an on a investment track. I'm not going to get five on any of these columns. I don't know if it's... Well, you put them out because then you could flip them, couldn't you? I'm going to flip that. I'm going to go up this track and get a green chemical because it's the only one I'm allowed to store anywhere and go up the R&D track because it's the only space I've got vouchers for. I think we've got to go to supply because I just can't do anything else. I think I need like one more turn. But yeah, unfortunately, things went really wrong at the very start. I think things have come a long way, but I don't think they've come far enough. So, he's not here, so I don't get a science. I get something, but I've got to spend two things. Spend... A lab. A government. Because I think I want to do both things there next time. I do both things there. I don't know if I've got time for that though. So definitely, we'll change the initiative. I need to tell the website I'm doing that. So that's that's a point, claiming the initiative. So I'll be first player next time. Robots. It's two supply points for you. You can go straight out on an experiment. The experiments that will happen at the end. It's so like sun, six points. Do you get all of the benefits of the experiment happening? Because you would get me a subsidy tile, the ice one. Yeah, ice. Yeah, if you get that benefit as well, I can get the subsidy tile. Because it can be from anywhere, can't it? As long as I've got a bot, and I will have a bot because you'll come back. Okay. Another two... I could have any of these. These benefits down here just move you up one of the funding tracks. There's one for each funding track. You just give me a voucher of any kind. So I guess you just move me back up. I'll get a supply one. And then I've got to spend... Because the weather doesn't get worse, does it, with the experiments that happen at the very end of the game? I don't know if I'm going to be able to trigger that. Will I get two because I'm going to be going first? I don't know. This as well might help me. That's going to get discarded. That would have helped me get a, a bot out onto there. It wasn't meant to be there. So, yeah, should I just get another bot? got a blue chemical i can't buy gears here i could buy more workshop tiles but i don't think it really matters i don't think i need to buy chemicals if you want to go out on these you do what else would you like to get out on maybe wind next time but it would make it bad again next time he's going to government Maybe just sun. That's two things. To buy that, but I haven't got space for it. We could just change the colour of a chemical if we needed to, couldn't we? One, two, three. Get me another robot. Move me on the pink track. Hey, we're at space five of that one. I think that's my supply phase. So then, the experiment's not running. You go away, you move along, you get discarded. And we've still got two more experiments that haven't come in. Nobody was present. Don't have to worry about any of that. I go first. So they're going to government. The minute I could make that happen. Well, actually, I could change where they go. 
I don't think I want to do that. Right. So, I want to come here and do both things. That will get discarded and not happen. What's this benefit in the level three tiles? Oh, come on, show us a picture. It's a breakthrough. Oh, it lets you do a breakthrough. Does that be a way to fix things? Just, yeah, it might let, help me decide where, where I want bots to be. So I want to do this one. One, two. Pop you in there. Slide you along. Get two gears. I don't know where we would have it. Maybe we'd have a breakthrough there because then we'd clear the tile off. It would be two extra points. Or here again, because I've got a million bots. Blue and green. And I get all the I get ten points here, don't I? I know I wouldn't clear the tile off. Yep. So have me benefit. I am the first to do ice. Is this bad, though? They're going to make ice worse, aren't they? But it's only one level three. That's okay. Because I'm going to unlock the citation f for it. Someone's got to do it. I'm doing it. I haven't done an investment. Do you want to do an investment first? You could have two gears there. Or you could put something new out and have something new. Yeah. Experiment. Investment tile. Put a new thing out. Have a science token. I don't think particularly chemicals. Why not? Did you get amused? Do you want to spend a, a science token to get three points? Yes? Question mark? Points. They're good. Two, four, eight points. We are at the target. Let's stop it there. So actually, what other things? Oh yeah, I wouldn't be able to meet the goals. Nowhere near four goals. Quite near. I've done that one. One bot away from doing that one. They got in my way early on. Really annoying. One subsidy tile away from doing that one. But have five pink or blue tokens in there. It's not happening. I would have another award, wouldn't I? So I could get four, maybe. I don't think I can get five, though. I suppose the sun is available. And that would get me a bot. Mm, I don't think there's enough time. Right. Had your points. Another investment token. Then. Lab. We got the funding. And. Put a bot out on an experiment. This is where my green token comes in. I think being potentially able to do a breakthrough at the end because that's going to be coming in in a minute let's just get on that experiment paying green for it done the saboteur is going second for a change they're following lativ to the government they cannot go in space a because lativ is there they raise the target by one. I have no longer reached the target. Lativ moves. New bot goes out. We don't discard when he goes in there. Place a bot into an empty bot branch. It's an empty branch for which they have a chemical. They've got loads of chemicals. They prefer ice. If there's available research tokens. So the only one, if they want a research token, is sun. So they want somewhere in sun, they would choose to place here first, which makes them spend that resource. And they are taking the bottom most one. Popping out. Oh, not that one. Popping out that gear. And the target goes back to the supply. They get a sun token. It is available. 
and then all branches of that are not full, but I don't think this is going to ruin me. They do have two tokens. Oh no, two tokens isn't terrible. They spend two tokens because I've unlocked citations. I, I did it on the app, but I didn't do it in real physical life. They spend those two and I can either increase the target value by five or discard the top card of the deck. Well, I can't discard the top card of the deck, can I? Yes, increase the target value. Next, does the experiment run? No, it doesn't. You go away, you go there, you get discarded, you go out. And so that's going to get discarded next time and not run. Am I going to get a chance to end the game properly? I don't know. Can I do the breakthrough? Oh no, I, I should have been taking things for this. Yeah, instead of thinking I'm being clever with that, blue was right, but you need like another red and a white. Yeah. You want to come here and do a breakthrough for this, for ice that you've just unlocked. And that might get you some gears later. I think we can get gears. I think we can get gears. Yeah, we can get two gears up there. Right. You're all done. I go first. This is the last turn, right? I need to end the game. But there would normally be one more round, so I think I've lost, unfortunately. So I'm going to go here. I... I know, first I want to do a investment, don't I? I want to flip one of these to get the bonuses of this place. And I want to have a white and also anything else. Because I'm going to do both things here. Because that will fulfill one goal. So one R&D point. Move up the track. Then put a bot out. Down here, spending a blue chemical and an extra gear. And you get a bot. I'll take the bot that will move me up. This track. Hey, I'm at five on that track. Five on that track. Yep, had your benefit. Get the tile. I can't, so I get an investment marker. Then here, two R&D points. And we need white, blue, red, red, handled. Breakthrough token. I can have a gear or two points. Do I need a gear? You can spend investment tokens at the end, right? Do I need a gear? If you want that breakthrough to happen, don't you need a green gear? So that goes on there. Two points for every gear. I'm supplying everything, so that's going to be an eight-pointer. Hey, we get the target again. And get yourself an award. And did I put the bot in the wrong place? No, I want the bot. I want the bot to be there because my goal is to have them in the same column of the R and D. I had the gears I needed. I only needed four gears for this. So I had them. So. Yeah, you've had the award. I get this, don't I? I get this Nobel Prize, don't I? I'm having it. Right. Had that. You don't get any research. No, you don't get any research tokens. That's for putting the bots out. You've had your award. And you've chosen to put it up there for some reason. Put it in. I suppose you might get one of these, but I don't think we get another go, do we? Because they are going to go... I think, should I have done something different here? I don't know. They're going to go to the lab. 
gain five points. Oh, for the, is that the Nobel Prize? Uh, they get to go in the leftmost one. Move Lativ, they do move Lativ. So he puts a bot out and he discards a sun token from there. Then he gets an award token, puts a bot onto an available space for which they have a matching chemical. I think they've got all of them again. And with a matching experiment in the display, they prefer branches with the most bots. And then space is in given order. So they'll go here and not make sun happen. It wouldn't really matter because sun's only on level one anyway. So when they go to draw a card and have no cards left at the game ends, I think that's now. So move the chemical matching the space. Have they got that salmon one? Oh, they, they prioritize top to bottom. So yeah, they'll go there. They spend the chemical and they are on water. They discard the current card. They discard their matching set. Now they've got an award and the top rain tile goes out. But that's only level two, so we're fine. And remove the lock token from that space. The experiment's not running. So you go, you go. And you get discarded and you come out. I guess I could decide which blue place I wanted to go, right? Next. The game is not ended. Is it? Is it because they're gonna draw one on their turn or something? Oh no! If they're they're just out of it. Yeah, so you play one more round as usual. So will they not get a turn? And then go to end of game scoring. So I'm not out, even though they've run out. I've like just in time, I get the last round because I triggered the actual end of the game. Maybe we're in this, who knows? Their score jumps up 30 points and I hadn't planned for another turn. So... I've got no chemicals. I've got that ready for doing a breakthrough at the end. I'm already... Well... I'm not really sure they haven't got a card. Because it says... Yeah, if the game ends as usual, play one more round as usual, then proceed to final scoring. What if they haven't got a card, though? If at the beginning of their turn, all security report cards are in the discard pile, you lose immediately. So do I lose immediately? Because we can't play around as usual. Do you know what, Paul? I think I can satisfy four of my goals. I think I can do it. Because the goals are... Beat the score, right? Currently happening. Get to space five on two of these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. My goals are have five of these. I've got four. Three full rows, done. A full column in R&D, done. Done. 
have five in this column, but investment tile can put this out, can't it? And get me a gear that I don't think I need. I don't think I can use even. Have five things in this column. And can't I, by coming to government on my turn, it doesn't matter if I do both things because the first action will satisfy both of my things and trigger the instant win. I've got a green gear, but I've got plenty of vouchers. Well, I haven't got plenty of vouchers, actually. I could, I've got just enough to change the colour if I needed to, though. But the only place to get a research token is here, and the subsidy token's available. Do you get points for having vouchers left at the end? I don't know if it's worth doing both sides of it. Do you, you just win, though, don't you? You don't, you don't score, do you? You just win. There's, but there's criteria at the end, isn't there? I don't know if I can change the criteria at the end at this point. I'll be lucky to do anything. Could you get... Do you go to final scoring even if you instant win? Or have you got to let the game end properly? No, I think it's just if you win, you can check these things. But you don't get any extra points if you... So yeah, getting any more ranks isn't going to happen. I think, yeah, I'm going to be a forecaster if I win. Yeah, I don't think doing this side is going to matter at all. So we can just come here, spend a government, which I think I've already done, go up the subsidy track, then I'm spending a green gear in my robot doesn't really matter which one I take. I haven't got any bots to put them out, and I haven't got another turn coming up anyway. You go there. It doesn't trigger the people to help, but the almost important thing, I get the sun thing. Hey, move me up here again. So I don't get all the lovely points from my funding tracks and stuff. Yeah, if maybe things would have been worse if I had never discarded their stuff. Um, but yeah, time doesn't run out and the government steps in. I'm doing this one. I don't do any of this, do I? It doesn't mean that I skip... Do I skip their turn and do the final stuff? I don't, do I? Because this says, if you get to final scoring. So I've kind of... Have I just, like, ducked out? I've won. But is this kind of saying the true win is to let it get to final scoring so you can get these crazy points? Yeah, I don't think any of this applies because it does say you've won immediately. But I think we can... Uh, yeah, so, like... I don't know if this is a bit more clearer than having the book on screen. Maybe if I put the if I put the book here, we've got um I don't know if it helps. I'll just read them out to you. So if if we'd got one more round, if the servitors had one more card, if things hadn't gone quite so wrong at the start, maybe. We would have got to final scoring. This is the end of the game. But yeah, as uh, as Shelley said, if I couldn't have done that, which, to be fair, is yeah, highly unlikely. I feel like that that happened to happen. That I was two goals away from winning, but those goals could both be satisfied by doing one thing that I could that I had the stuff to do at the end. Hey, okay, all planned. So yeah, to be a terror, to be considered a terraformer. So yeah, why I was talking about final scoring, because that's, I think, the only way that you would get to these high point goals that I'm about to say. So if you had got to final scoring, you would resolve all the remaining experiments that people had got bots in and get your points in those ways, the rewards and all that stuff. I would have got to do some extra breakthroughs, whatever. But the target would also jump by 30. 
And then you you do find scoring. Saboteurs don't score anything. They're just setting a target for you. If at the end of this you've beaten the target value, you've won. But I got the instant win. So to be a terraformer, you have to have 120 or more points. Your lowest funding track beyond the fourth space. I'm only one away from that. Highest funding track is on the last space. Six or more workshop tiles. No. No more than two total vouchers remaining. Ooh, that is tricky. I've got three remaining. And I could have wasted those had I needed to by doing these, but that would have earned you vouchers back. I think it would. I don't know. Let's not get into it. Then, to be a climatologist, you have to have 110 points. No. The Nobel Prize. Hey. Nobel Prize winner over here. Four or more goal tiles met. So again, like the, the top thing isn't even bothered how many goals you achieved. Um, but it will help with your score, won't it? So you have the Nobel Prize, four or more goals met, and all bots unlocked. One away. That's a lot more bots than I, I think I usually get. Meteorologist is uh, the third best rank. A hundred or more points. Three or more papers published. Hey. One or more funding track on at least the eighth space. What's the eighth? One more over there. Three or more goal tiles met. Yes. Two or more awards. 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 Oh, these, these, these. Obviously. Yeah, these are awards. Hey. Not far away from that. And the points as well. Um, but then... I think this is where we come in. Fourth, forecaster. Three or more papers published. Yes. Seven or more bots on the main board. All of them. Three, six, nine. I've got 11 bots out there. I feel like, yeah, there's, he did a lot of government stuff, but never actually triggered a thing and didn't help me much on the R&D department, did he? So yeah, three or more papers published, seven or more bots on the main board, three or more goal tiles met. We did four to trigger the end game and one or more reward. So we are a forecaster. And that's all right. Because uh, I don't think I've... I don't think I've played it for a long time now, but I don't think I've uh, ever avoided not getting sacked in Kanban's uh, solo. Number five, Storm Chaser. For that, two or more goal tiles met and one or more award. But you have to still have won the game to get to that point. So there we go. After, I think, an abysmal start, especially since, yeah, all, all the things that I'd planned for. Yeah, I think I made the wrong... I think it was right to... I never swapped these over, did I, when I got first player again? I think... It was the right choice to call security and discard their card that time. But I think I put the wrong card on the top of their pile because it put them like right here where I wanted to be and they did all the things I wanted to do right ahead of me. I don't I don't know if I could have predicted all of that stuff, but yeah, I did the wrong card at that point, I think. I don't know if that would massively have changed everything else because against all odds, it kind of fell into place, didn't it? Yeah, like the the you don't need it, of course. I think the the website did help, like reminded me of all those steps. I know it says it on the player aid and all of that stuff, but it's nice having kind of words and a, a stern bit of text slowly guide your hand through all of these bits. Yeah, I think this more than any of the others. I don't know. On Mars, I just it it's very heavy anyway, and yeah, it's it's the hardest one to click back in my mind whereas like when i watched me video from last time the original two player one the actual meat of the game clicked back in quite quickly but doing well in it yeah you you got to plan ahead and people can and or the saboteurs can get in your way so so easy as you would see, like if you haven't seen it, skip back to the first couple of rounds where like for a change, I'd stared at the board for ages and come up with a couple of rounds and then nah, all out the window. Wrong. Saboteurs just went in those spaces. So you back down to nothing. But I think from that, 
given how uh, pessimistic I was about it a few rounds in, hey, it's a win, which yeah, I've, I've never done in Leather Machine Solo. So there we go. With your help, of course. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. So much for being quicker than last stream. But hey, there's... Uh, I knew more this time, which made it longer. <laughs> I knew more options or more of not what not to do. So it's, you can you can get back to, down to two vouchers more easily. So never quite grabbed your mic. I think like I don't know. I don't want to speak for other people, but I feel like it is a factor. The like maybe if theme influences it more. It being a fantastical theme might not grab people as much anyway. Whereas, like, I don't really mind as much because, like, I couldn't care less about car production lines and um, wine or wine making or art galleries stuff. Really, I do care about them, but uh, yeah, say the theme for any of those once you're in the game mechanically it makes it all make sense and is wonderful i'm just saying in terms of like pure theme i wouldn't go oh there's a game about car production lines i'm gonna get that so yeah theme isn't like the the grabber for me but if it has been in other vista lacerda games maybe it being okay there's a machine that changes all of the weather and stuff might just be a turn off to some people and i wonder if it's made it harder i'm just saying that like the theme is such a kind of anchor for like this is we're growing this wine we're going to a wine show we're selling it to these people it's all concretes a pretty complicated game in your mind that maybe having like a hypothetical fantastical theme might make it just harder to click and be more of a turn off but i think yeah the theme aside it is like they're all different in their ways but it's got that lovely cycle of interlocking things a system that seems ridiculously impenetrable at first but then quite quickly you start to just click into oh, that didn't make a sound then uh it just clicks into a lovely rhythm it is a lovely meaty puzzle i think i haven't done it for a while like i've only played on mars with the pro well I've played on mars the base game the expansion i've only played with that prototype i had a one deck of cards for whichever scenario was it was it a solo specific scenario was it a co-op scenario i did i had a prototype of one specific thing anyway so that's all i've played of the expansion to on mars and i haven't got that at the moment but i wonder like yeah i would, I would like to get it at some point but yeah for things like uh, weather machine. I could just jump into that. I'd, I'd like to do all of the on Mars things. At some point, maybe. But I haven't got the expansion at the moment. I've got the base game. But I would like... I think... I don't know about the original playthrough. And I feel like I might have done it live a couple of times now. But the gallerist... I yeah, I don't know if I've done it multiple times, but I think the last time we did the gallerist, which might be a year or more now, I think I got Master Gallerist in it. I feel like I did another live one after saying I used to be able to get Master Gallerist in this and then didn't even get a ranking in it. But I think last time I lived up to it and did quite well. I'd like to do it again. I say that though, but I've yeah, I've been, I've been ill for a, a few weeks, so there's not been as many games, so I'm behind on it, so I need to catch up next week. So all of these things that I've been thinking, oh, I'll do the gallerist now. I've got to wait on my excitement and things like that. But yeah, there is, there is like, there is stuff about. But it would be cool to do the other on Mars things, because yeah, I've just done one scenario of it. Adventures will be taking it easier on me. That's a relief. Yeah, the saboteurs are tough. But I think, like, I don't know. They did really mess with me and really get in my way. But 
Mr. Lacerda and Mr. Tortsy in Kanban EV. Just sack me. Just get, just get me sacked all the time. It is not like it is. It is pressure, but it is. It's good. Like it's it's good pressure having those instant loss conditions in this and and Kanban. But I do like. Yeah, I, I, like it, there's different. They're completely different. Like feels in the games and the solo modes, but there is something about the gallerist just kind of trapping. Like I know exactly what Lacerda is going to do. He's going to move one space over, and unless he goes to a certain space, he's he's not. He's just going to take tickets away. He's ticking down my timer. He's not actually changing the game. My failure in the gallerist is mainly like just down to. Me being rubbish at art dealing. I think it's just I just like it as well. It's just thing in it. It's it's the first. Is it the? I think it's the first deluxe edition overall, right? It's not the first Vita Lacerda I had. I think that was Kanban. Original Kanban. And then I worked backwards to get the other ones. But yeah, 2016 was a lovely time for getting things. Let's not think about how long ago that was now. All the academia and science to play Ray Mathematica is. I wonder if that's, yeah. In fact, oh, the theme wasn't a factor, it just seemed like a more fiddly version of Kanban. Like, I think, like, yeah, the I suppose, like, the the core bit of picking a department and getting a certain number of actions and things like that. I can see like that being Kanban like, but then outside of that it's very different. Yeah, I think yeah, Vinos, I think I did all of them again, didn't I? I did I did, a, I did playthroughs for them originally when they came out or whenever I got them. So yeah, I got the gallerist in 2016. When I... Uh, I don't know. I think that was pretty early on in this as well because the channel only started in April 2016. But yeah, I think I've gone back and done them all again. Yeah, I did Vinos Deluxe whenever I got that. And then we did a solo of that. I feel like it's not very long ago. I bet if I went and checked, the live of it was ages ago now. I think they've all been done fairly recently, though, again. Well, yeah, it's just... Um, it's just my favourite, isn't it? That's just going towards the gallerist again. But I love them all. They're all there. You can see some bits. This camera's... Camera cuts off everything. But as if to prove it, well, you can see in every stream, that's where they are. That's just the shelf that they're on. Oh, and weather machines temporarily there i don't think it fits like see how there's there's four on that shelf on that uh Kallax cube i can't expand the camera very easily the keyboard's not by me yeah they they fit in what is it vinos gallerist lisboa on mars they them four fit in side by side but i think it's expansions or something kanban and rococo seem to like have more in them and I can't squeeze weather machine onto the little gap, annoyingly, and keep me, well, not strictly Vista Lacerda collection. Deluxe edition bit going, I suppose. Have I done escape plan? I want to say yes. Because I did a playthrough of the prototype way back when. Let me go on me video manager. That's not going to come up on the screen, is it? I feel like I did a live of it. Don't take me into Paperback Adventures. Why are you doing that? Uh, Paperback Adventures, episode three coming. Did I? Oh, no, I've done it. I did a filmed one. I didn't do a live one of it, but I did a... I recorded one of it. It came out, didn't it? This is one of these... A video's got up on Patreon of a, a playthrough that I filmed in 2017 and then 
lost and forgot about. Yeah, escape plan. Yeah, it's public. September 2021. It feels like that was a stream I did like in the last six months ago or something. Where the machine and escape plan are a touch wider than them. Maybe I'll have to jiggle them about a bit. Do I think they're in any kind of order? There might be a little bit of a gap on that shelf, actually. Now I look at it. Yeah, I might just have to pop them in a bit of a different order. Or Rococo could, like, if I just can't fit them in there, Rococo thematically can go somewhere else. It does match up, though, all lovely, doesn't it? But it's not a Lacerda game. Yeah, I would like the... I don't know. I keep making plans for things, and then time runs out. But... Yeah, I'd like them to be at least at least the Galaris. Because the Galaris as well, even though I haven't played it since whenever the last stream was, just because I got to do too many games. But when was that? Is it recently like I think it is? I don't know, my search isn't working. I've definitely done more than one. Oh, there's live tabs. That's annoying. Why'd you separate it? Just show me all the videos together. I'm live right now. Looking at facts and figures. Yeah, it wasn't even a year ago. I did a live in April 2021 and June 2022. Oh, thanks, Steve. We did Vinos in April. Yeah, I think we had a... Didn't we have like a series of them? And then I feel like O2 Second Chance was meant to be the next revisit and then ran out of time for it. Jero 2 Second... CO2 Second Chance is somewhere else. Because I couldn't fit it all together. But yeah, I'd like to... Let's just do them again. But I was saying um, last week that when we were unboxing... A Rheinenberger canal that I got really excited about. When I, when I saw the resource wheels, it's like, oh, I'd love to do a glass road stream again. But we've got to, we've got to catch up on some of these things. So I think that that is the I know that this is the this is the stream for this week. On Sunday there will be the last episode of Paperback Adventures. Next week there will be. I think Ark Nova is the next up in the vote. Or Woodcraft, or they might be tied. I'd like to say both of them would be there. I'd like to do like loads more than that, but yeah, time and reloaded things and stuff. So yeah, definitely the next couple of vote things. I Atua, I'd like that to be next because I got that specifically because it was requested and stuff. But I think that's third down in the next voting thing. March is happening, isn't it? So a vote. Well, I usually say the vote is like the first Tuesday of the month. So technically that would be like the seventh this year. But I think maybe because I've been a bit light on videos with the old missing voice and stuff. Maybe it'd be OK if I slightly later vote, say like it's by a few days. To try and catch up with things. I don't think... I said I haven't played Atto a solo yet either, by the way. It's like we played it two player at Gridcon. And I wasn't that jazzed. But that was one play. And I haven't played it solo at all. But uh, I think is Skymines in this vote? I don't think Skymines got very many votes. To revisit it. Which I was surprised by. Well maybe it was just that it was up against Stiff competition. I'm trying to find the vote. Yeah. So it's Ark Nova, then Woodcraft, then Atua, then Trajan. Oh, I'd love to play Trajan again. Then Final Girl, then Sky Mines. So 
Skytear Horde looks pretty cool. I haven't seen much about it. I'd like to give that a go. Scholars is launching on the 1st. That's not a week, is it? Because we're February. When is the 1st? Wednesday. So yeah, that's come forward by a week. There is going to be another stream of it. Maybe that'll be next week then. I wonder if that... I should be able to get back in the swing of that pretty cool. It's the stream that took my voice from me. Maybe that'll be next week as well. But yeah, that's launching on the 1st of March now. And uh, yeah, you can see my playthrough I've already done so far. But I want to get back and... I did wind in time. Use Arno if you do Arc Nova. Oh, is that a different solo mode? I'll have to, I'll have to get that ready. Then there's an app for it. Done. Yeah, I probably haven't played Arc, Arc Nova since the last stream. But yeah, I got those new maps and things. I know they're not like... They're probably not going to be massive changes. But the expansion is... That's this year, right? Essen time, maybe? But yeah, we'll return. And I'll, I'll do this... Uh, I'll try this with the solo mode then, because then we can uh, get a different playthrough up. But I think, like, any Ark Nova would be pretty good, right? It's still, without delving into BGG hotness disputes, it's always on there, right? Yeah, Ark Nova's still on there. It's always in the hotness. What did it, isn't it, like, really highly ranked now? Shot right up. Fourth! Congrats, Arc Nova. I don't know what it was last time I looked. See, my voice went then for fourth. That's scary, isn't it? Right, so yes, there will be streams next week. Arc Nova for sure. Hopefully Scholars. Hopefully Woodcraft. Do I need to film anything next week? I'd like to film things. I want to stay ahead and have, like, some recorded things coming up. I have got something recorded that I want to try and edit as well. But yes, there will be games coming up. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And helping me through it's been a long one but hey a successful one at last at the old weather machine and uh, yeah maybe we'll have another crack it maybe i'll put it in the march photo and we'll have um another go and hopefully i mean statistically i should be better at it right if only it worked that way uh, but yes thank you all for being here if you'd like to support the channel you can do it on patreon and uh kofi and stuff and we'll have more vita lacerda i hope in the near future Thank you, everyone, for being here and watching, though, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Can't find the credits button. Bye. Bye.